Good morning and uh, welcome back to Bendigo East Bowls Club. We are here for State Champions Week. Um, mixed pairs action today, uh, last 16, uh, between Kelly McCarrahan and Ali Forsyth from Sandbelt and Bruce Morley and Lee Harris from the Bendigo Campaspe region. I'm Jimmy Whitehead, Events and Competitions Manager at Bowls Victoria. Alongside me, again, my good mate, Josh Thornton. How you going, mate? Good, Jimmy. Uh, this is by far the most cracking day we've had so far uh, in uh, Bendigo. And the weather is fantastic. We've even got the hoodies off or the jackets off for the first time all week. Barely a cloud in the sky, mate. Uh, no, no wind either, so um, should set up. The greens are uh, immaculate, as always. And, um, yeah, should be a cracking game. We have uh, a couple great teams here playing on our live stream. Yeah, we um, play mixed pairs. Uh, so format is 18 ends. Two, 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 two pairs. So traditional... Um, Pairs game. Uh, we've got Kelly leading for Sambel and Bruce leading for the Bendigo Campaspe. They're both from same club, so um, Ali and Kelly from Clayton and Bruce and Lee from the Bendigo Bowls Club just down the road. Um, they'll be used to greens like this. Their greens are fantastic down at Bendigo Bowls Club as well. Huh? Yeah, the, the locals, are, you know, one way or another, you know, as I said, they're obviously not from Bendigo East, only just down the road, but they would have ample opportunities to play in these greens and. Um, yeah, they would know each other this game really, really well, obviously. So, And then, obviously, Kelly and Ali both playing out of Clayton. And, um, obviously, both international players themselves. Um, they, they bring the record and the resume here to, to, that should be a, a formidable combination. But, as you know, in a game of bowls, anything can happen. Correct, mate. Correct. We're just uh, completing the second of the, the trial ends here, and we won't be far away from starting. No, we uh, know our finalists for later this afternoon as well, and the men's and uh, ladies' singles. Yeah, so this morning uh, we had uh, Marilyn Stevenson from the Bendig Bendigo Campaspe region uh, compete against Jodie Fruin from the Amazon Murray, and Marilyn got over the line 25 20 in the end. It was a cracking match. So they do, the locals do have one of their own playing in the state singles final this afternoon. Uh, in the other semi final, she will be meeting Judy Nardello from Metro West who beat Judy Albright in the semi-final 25-19, and Judy Albright from Wimmera. Mm. And then the other semi-final, we had a couple good matches. Um, the real close one was the Nathan Murray versus Brett Mahoney semi-final this morning, and uh, Nathan Murray got away with the victory 25-21 in the end. Uh, that game ebbed and flowed throughout. They mm. both held leads at different occasions. And in the other semi-final, uh, who... Um, Nathan Murray will be meeting would be the one and only Stevie Sullivan from Queenscliff who uh, took on our current and reigning uh, champion champions holder, Brett Reese Jeffs from West Coast. And Stevie Sullivan was in scintillating form this morning and he won that game 25 to 15, 14, 25 14. So um, that should set up a cracking uh, men's singles final later this afternoon. Mm. So Ali's starting his uh, last trial end. He's bowl bowling with his Tiger 2s, which you see him play with a, f a fair bit, the wider he, uh, drawing he, bowls. He loves using the wider bowls. He loves getting down to the head. Mm. Um, I was saying, saying to you just before we came on, played against him a couple of months ago in a night pennant game, and he's bowling with ABT Evo. So he does like the wider bowl, that's for sure. He's always done it for the years I've seen him play and um, used them well, and he... Not only obviously does a, a uses that wider bowl to make sure he can draw to mm. centre line, but he, he he's one of the best run shot players I've Correct. seen too, and he uses that Correct. uses that wider bowl well. So and Lee and Bruce, who are obviously our locals, um, they've both won you know, region titles plenty of times around this area. You know, uh, Bruce has been a very steady lead for years. Mm. Uh, he's won a couple of Region Falls titles leading, and uh, Lee has won a, a Region Falls and a Region Singles, and obviously they've won the Region Mixed Pairs, you know, so... Um, Going well. Yes, definitely. And they're playing on their home-ish greens. Yeah. It's a popular um, competition around the state, this Mixed Pairs. I know um, a lot of regions get real big entries in, early doors, um, sort of like 40 to 60 different teams in, in some regions, so it's well-supported. People like the format. It's great. Yeah, and on uh, the rink next door, 
we'll try and keep you updated. We've got only got one other game on this B green at Bendigo East um, in this time slot. Reason being the greenkeeper wants to give some of the front rinks a bit of a rest. Um, so we've got Mary Farley and Zach Wonin from Eastern Ranges. We saw Mary down in Warnable. She played with uh, Max Goldsmith down there in one of our televised games as well. Against... Um, Superwoman. Yep, Superwoman Jenny Miller from Leon Gatha, Streslecki region. Um, he's playing with Shane O'Loughlin. Um, and I'm guessing from his shirt, I don't actually know Shane, but from that shirt I'm thinking he's from Corran Borough. Um, it's either Corran Borough or Druin. It's one of the two. Um, Looks like Corran Borough colours, actually. Yeah. That's, my, that's my guess. But yeah, Jenny's, this is will be her third event she's playing in there. Yeah, third. She's got a few more to come. I'm going to get some special comments from some some players who've competed in this uh, state champs week later and, and still to compete. I'm going to get Clayton, teammate of uh, Ali and Kelly and um, Courtney Gabb at some point. Give Josh a break. He's been smashing the stream in the last couple of days. I don't, well, think, I don't think I've had a break yet, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I had mine last night. went down and got my beard trimmed all ready for awards night tonight. It's looking, looking pretty dapper. Should be a good night. Mm. Going to be beautifully hosted by the All Seasons. Yeah, like Jack Everin, who we see on a lot of the BA stuff, um, hosts the BPO. He's going to be he's going to be the MC for tonight. He's very knowledgeable about his bowls, is Jack. He's uh, very good at jack of all trades. Uh, no pun intended there, but um, I know he commentates basketball, commentates football, so and he actually does really enjoy commentating his long bowls. And we're about to start the match, Jimmy. Mm. It's good to see a different format now. We're going to the two, 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 two just the four pairs. Um, we've had fours on the live stream and a bit of singles action. So very tactical game. This you, you, I find you really need to play the position of the balls that you're playing. You need to play the lead in second, especially, and not try and win the end too early and, and have no balls in the head and leave yourself open to drop in numbers. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, you almost want to play as a front end then as a back end. Good start by uh, both of them there, finding the range pretty early. Green's running, what, about 15 and a half, I think? Yeah, it's... it's yeah, Bruce will be... Really, really happy with his one on and one behind there. Just want to clear our own. No. Kelly's using the ta Taylor GTRs, which he used the other night in the live stream we had in that falls match. And um, for those listening, watching at home. Um, Kelly's a, a current Canadian representative. She's represented the, the country at Commonwealth Games and uh, World Championships. She's been a twice world bronze medalist in the World Championships. And so her, her resume is uh, unbelievable. And then her partner, Ali, he's a current World Falls champion representing New Zealand. He's been a world champion and champion. And he's been a two-time Asia Pacific singles winner. Yeah, good start by Lee, these. Well done. Great ball. Drops a rod on it, just in front. You mentioned dally has got a pretty big and accurate up shot. He sort of had a <laughs> a raw look then and then sort of <laughs> reset on the mat and thought better of it. He's um he's sporting a bit of a, a bit of an injury, I heard him saying inside the clubhouse. Well, you wouldn't notice after that bowl. Phenomenal reply. Just drawn around the bowl. That's yes. those Tiger twos getting a bit of hook. I'm sure Courtney will feel us in more when she jumps on it in a bit, but um, he's tweaked his calf or something he was saying, so you might see him moving a bit gingerly. It's funny you said that, because when he was walking down the rink to start the roll-up, he was doing stepping out differently with that left foot. Yeah, right. And I thought, well, that's strange, and that probably explains it all.
going to start a conversation here and I want people to get involved at home because I'm sure everyone's got a different opinion. I'm sure me and you are going to have different opinions on this, Josh. Best left-hander? Um, four side? Ever or currently playing? or Bit what, of both, go ever and current. So I'm going to be a little biased because I've got a couple of good mates who are left-handers. Um... Mark Casey's record's pretty darn mm-hmm. good. Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Commonwealth Games silver medalist, and everything else. And then uh, my old pairs partner, Barry Lester's probably one of the best draw bowlers I've ever seen with mm-hmm. a lefty, you know. Um, those two stand out to me off the top of my head. And internationally, yeah, I'm just trying to think Ali's probably outside of our own Australian bowlers who's probably up there. Mm-hmm. There's another lefty up front with Bruce out. Probably gonna want to make contact. Or is he going the? Uh, yeah, he's going the early cover. It's probably not a, a bad bowl. So that's where Jack will go. Up, I think, judging by the angle, I can see it. I actually think it'll kill. Anyway, we'll see what happens if there's any way played. These two obviously know each other's game pretty well, same as um, Bruce and Lee. They play a fair bit together. With they do. <laughs> Roger commenting that Kaz Rothwell's the best left-hander. I reckon he's slightly biased in what he's saying there. <laughs> Only slightly. But we'll put her up there, Rog. Has one of the board directors at Bowls Vic. She's a yes. Clayton bowler. Clayton well. bowler. Mm. Invested interest there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll talk more with Courts about Clayton season. They've had a phenomenal one. Yeah, Brian Spurry was on my list. I was waiting for Josh to actually ask me the question who was on my list, but since Josh hasn't, no, we didn't really. Ca- <laughs> I didn't really care for your opinion, Jim. That's <laughs> it's obvious, you know. <laughs> No, who who you got, Jim? Spur, Spurry would be one of the most informed ones at the moment. He's he's bowling real well. He's helped win the Premier League and the state title for Melbourne this year. He's a good mate of mine. He's yeah. uh he's definitely. Oh look, again, I didn't mention him, but he's he's up there. There's no doubt. I've had the privilege of playing with and against Spurry mm-hmm. over the years. And um, actually, there was a very formidable left-handed combination in my junior days of a Brett Spur and Todd Simmons. Oh, geez. I'm just trying to think of a, a female lefty off the top of my head, you know? I've got to be honest, mate. I commentate in games and not realise people are left-handed, so I'm <laughs> I started the conversation more for everyone else than me. I know I'm a current observant. I know a current and Australian squad member uh, who I had the privilege of coaching at the BPL, Jen Delves, mm. is a lefty. And so she's the first one that springs to mind. She's in some good form as well. Talking about players in good form. What's he going to do here? He's on his forehand. Sort of a rise. They're looking just pace. to maybe try and poke that yeah, I think so, bowl they're, they're, out underneath. They're, yeah, they've got an absolute stack of bowls to the left as we look at it. Oh, that changes the head. Yeah. He's got another to come. Might give him different looks. Gives him three seconds as well there. Around. C- call from Bruce is still down to Lee. So she's just going to want to sort of arrive into that pack and yep. try and sit them two bowls of Ali and uh, Kelly. I reckon we're going to get a good Benigo crew crew sitting around us soon. Yeah, good. They do like the support their own up here. She's not far away. She's close here. She's going to want to run a bit. Yeah, she needs to run a bit. Very good effort, though. Great effort by by Lee. Well, they've got two. Drew a horn. 
Yeah, he, he already played one this hand, which come out of nowhere. Let's see what he's got. Is he reaching? No. Good effort. That's a fair start, though, mate. It's a good head. A Very good head. We're going to have got a good game here. That's 2-0. Uh, Way to the Clayton or Sandvolt team after one end. Pat, to move the captions, I think there's like a settings button at the top right. I just checked it out on my phone. and Yeah, it's, a, it's it. individual phone settings. It's yeah. not our settings. I had a guy, a Mel Boyd, from Bendigo East, come to me and goes, if you can give a good tutorial, you'd make millions out of it because there's plenty of us old buggers sitting at home who have no idea how to get rid of the captions. Could be a good business idea there. I'm sure if you stuck it in YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sure someone's already beat us to the punch. Good start by Kelp. Bruce using the mat here. You can see he's standing right on the edge of the mat. It's probably indicative of that hand too. That hand, if anyone watched the live streams the last couple of days, has been in that uh, force final, Jimmy. Mm. Um, there was a lot of bowls again on that hand. Just a little tight. You know, yeah, again, okay. it's, it's it's not unplayable. No one's complaining about the greens at all. But it's just a, a bit of a tighter hand. And uh, the, the match swung when Matty Flapper was able to play a forehand shot and got down to one of their bowls, which sort of poked one of Jay Bai's bowls out, and then he screwed yeah. back to the other one and made a seven. So late in the game, it was I a was phenomenal about, bowl. I was about to say to you, what was the turning point? Because I took, I, I nipped back to Melbourne last night for for, for the the beard appointment, but um, to take the little one to soccer as well. And he, as I went in, I did a quick check on the score on the live stream, and um, Jay Bai was ahead. And then when I come back out, he was. A f quite a few down, so it was ultimately that, it was that end ultimately, it was a seven, and then, and then yeah, the right. following end. I mean, I can't recall a state falls final where you've had two sevens Jeez. scored, one from either side. He was missing all the time. I didn't actually. That was arcs, and I didn't even pay any attention to be honest. Um, it was a cracking game. Ali looking for bowl or jack here. What's he got? Very close to the jack. Got the jack. Good bowl. Moves it back to Kelly's bowl, and made they make two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was probably the turning point. And then, the, like for them, Geelong boys to follow up with it for the next end, you mm -hmm. know, and, and built that really big lead into the last end. It's a thing when you pick up a number, eh? It's just not dropping two or three or four back and half in what you picked up. Bruce locks this from Lee. She's just got to clear that first one too, and she's she might hit the shot bowl. Good bowl. Well done, Lee. Great bowl, Lee Harris. Good, clear communication there, Jimmy. Yeah. Correct. Who wants it to slow? It's not far away. That's a great home, though. Yeah. Plenty of options, now. Oh, Jay Boy was the one who missed out on the eight. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky, mate. Yeah, but... Jay Boy, you were the one who got the seven by <laughs> sitting the bowl that clean. So that 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 basically exonerates you in that space, you know. So, have you ever got an eight, Jimmy? Uh, no. Bearing in mind, I've only been back playing three years and playing lawn bowls for the three years. So good bowl there by Lee. Yeah, well done, Lee. She's started off real well. I've, I, you, but you know what? In my few weeks of busy of of busyness of events and watching bowls in the last three weeks and we've had cha uh, champion of state pennant weekend and midweek and region sides before this i reckon i've seen three eights we definitely we've seen a couple we've yeah. seen a couple of region sides i mean there's one bloke there i won't mention his name i don't know how he got it but uh he got an eight first and then he's in one of his yeah. sectional games that'll be brad or i think he sent me six messages for his eight badge yeah I think be, yeah he's pushing for it yeah i know terrible bowler he is <laughs> At least he's a good bloke. That's debatable too. <laughs> Lee flipping Bruce onto 
his full home. Yeah, there's a bit of a funnel there, I reckon. If they can and you know use the edge of Kelly's bowl too, they might be able to turn the jack mm. towards the other two of Lee's. Oh, look, he might be down, but it's still maybe not a bad a, not a bad head for him at this stage. Yeah, well, there's only the one in there of uh, Ali and Kelly's, which is the pink one of Kelly's. They've got nothing beyond though the the, the goals from Bendigo. No, they they would probably want to, you know, if they miss with their necks with what they're going to play, finishing a good home. Mm. Kelly just want to get inside this blue one, and she's going to get down quick enough. Just hang him round. But again, another one at the back. Creates options, limits the options for uh, Lee and Bruce. He's almost going to have to get the bowl clean, the pink bowl, and sit in the head. But and hope Ali misses twice, which is tough. Always called it narrow at the hand. Great thing about our live streaming, Jimmy, our ambient mic picks up all the, the yeah. comments from the players. Good and bad. <laughs> So far, all good. Nothing we've had to censor yet, anyway. And we called an umpire here. Um, the last bowl of Bruce's is finished out near the boundary line, so they're going to do it. It's a fair call because it, it does change his shot because that's obviously behind the head and, and there's a fair chance of skirting a ball on the way in and kicking Jack to that point of the ditch and if it is out it makes makes it a lot easier for him Are you any good at these? I'm terrible at judging these I am. I've never been an umpire Jim No I mean even just from naked eye just oh. know, I'm terrible It's getting the mirror out Is that true, Jimmy? No. No. Because you know Lucas wouldn't have four bowls in her head. So. <laughs> Just for replying to one of the comments from our resident smiling assassin, Lucas Protopapas, he reckons uh, Jimmy and Lucas would have got an eight if Jimmy reached, but as Jimmy indicated, Lucas wouldn't have had that many bowls in the head to count. No. Are they wanting to draw inside? I was just going to do what Kel did and skirt round. They've got what, one, two, three, four or five bowls there yeah. in a good position. He Le can get down to that quad. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon he'll go for it next bowl, Ali? Because there's, there's a pack of them there. We can get the jack back. I think there's every chance. What will Lee do? Will she try and beat her own flank bowl like they're trying to do? And, and if she misses, it. sit sit at the back. She can turn the bowl over a couple of times and put it into a yeah. good spot, you know. Stay on the forehand. She's given it a watch, is Lee. I think she might be going narrow. But anything can happen here. Ooh. I think he's going to look for the jack. Well, that last ball... It's, it's, it's a risk-reward shot, this, hey, because there's he's a chance of making, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six if he goes six. with it. The holding one at the moment, early, ga early, early doors in the game. Yeah, he's, he's giving it a thought. He's going to walk down the head. Look, if anyone could do it, it's, it's a man of Ali's calibre. And I know he plays a fairly attacking... I wouldn't say aggressive, but an, an attacking yeah, game. It's attacking. So. It's, it's a good style to play. Particularly if you've got the tools to do it. Mm. Eastern Rangers started with a four on the rink next to us. So they're four nil up against the Streslecki mixed pair after the one end. As mentioned earlier, the rest of the games are on A green, um, which is just as good as B green, but B green's a, a bit easier for us to stream from. And Tonks, the greenkeeper, just wanted to give a few rinks a rest. Oh, he's going for it, I reckon, Josh. Yeah, he is definitely. He's looking to. Oh, here we go. Gets to the, sh the, the closest Bendigo bowl. He's normally pretty loud when he's close. He's early as well. He's very close. He's got to hang. He's got to hang. That go in. He gives the shot away. That that was the risk. The reward was five or six shots. So 
I think that was the right shot. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. Early days, I giving agree. one away is not going to hurt you, and you happen to get it the right way. Yeah, Lee, Lee taking the shot, she doesn't want to do anything to that head, so she concedes her last bowl, and that'll be Wanda, Lee and Bruce from Bendigo. Makes the score 2-1 after two ends, and uh, Jimmy, I'm going to take a little break. Sounds yeah. good, mate. And uh, we're going to be joined by the one and only Courtney Gabb. Yep, Clayton teammate of... Kelly and Ali, she's uh, played in the fours already with Kelly and, and he's also playing in the ladies pairs with her later in the week, across the weekend. Um, so we'll get some good insult from Courtney. How are we going? Hey, Courts. How are you going? Going all right? Yeah, very well, very well. You're just watching on the side. Pretty. Uh, that was. Did, did you agree with his uh, risk reward shot there? Of oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was so. worth getting um, one down. You know, to try and get the six. Well worth it. Yeah. No, it was. Um, I think this early in the game, you got to play bowls like that. If he if he makes that, they're six. They go eight and they're up. After two ends, it's a long way back for Lee and Bruce already before they've even started. Really. Absolutely. So you. Obviously, play at Clayton with uh, Kelly and Ali, and you guys have had a phenomenal season, hey, across all levels at, at Clayton. Yeah, huge year. So we were fortunate enough to have uh, five teams make it through to the finals, four promotions, and uh, the Premier League just, um, as you saw, just fell short of making it into the grand final. Yeah, it's phenomenal. What'd you put that down to? Um, we were very, very fortunate throughout COVID. We got a lot of um, new players on board. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of new energy throughout the club, mm -hmm. um, and I think. COVID in a lot of ways, you know, from the team morale, for those of us who were existing members, we stayed in contact. Yeah. Um, when restrictions were sort of eased, we made sure we um, made the effort, caught up yeah. for dinners, um, stayed, yeah, and that was, I think it was just the excitement of being able to do what we all love again. Yeah, it's great. And even the uh, success midweek, they, they had a great run there and night pen it too. Yeah, yeah, they knocked us in the night pen and we won't talk about that. Oh, touch your subject. <laughs> I think it was Kelly's rink that uh, did the damage with Vici that night as well. Was two rinks pretty close and she handed out a bit of a smack into someone, her and Vici, so um, that was good. No, I always enjoy playing against Clayton. have got a good rivalry with, with Melbourne. It's all it's all fun. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's all good fun. And how's the green? Because you've, you've played on it. Oh, the green's phenomenal. Mm. And, um, you know, like as much as uh, Ali, as we well know, is a, a brilliant bowler, but Lee is her own name in town, mm. coming from playing midweek for Bendigo East. She's certainly not someone you wanted to draw the card yeah, against. Right. Yeah, right. So she's a very well-known bowler in town and um, yeah, not someone you take lightly, that's for sure. And she's going to know these services. Like, so Bendigo East is a tiny bit slower than Bendigo itself, but she's going to be well acquainted with a fast-paced ground. Yeah, because yeah. It it's pretty quick, pretty wide, pretty consistent all the way around, huh? Oh, Absolutely. At least it's warmer today oh, than, than your freezing cold game on a Tuesday night. We did have our winter woolies on. <laughs> I don't think I think that's the second. And we can't quite classify them as pants, but leggings. I think it's the second time I've worn more than shorts <laughs> in my bowling life. It was uh, look. I played a lot of bowls in England growing up, and I cannot. I can't pick a game that I thought was colder in England than what we experienced on Tuesday night here. So that's how cold it was. <laughs> it was horrific. For you to say that, that's like stirring Kelly as well, know. saying, come on, mate, you're from Canada. You should be the one <laughs> teaching us how to stay warm yeah. in these conditions. <laughs> See what Lee can do. She's got a bit of room to draw into. Kelly's just a bit short of the jack. It feels tight to me, this one. Just trying to pick which bowls Ellie's using. He's got three sets of bowls, all the same colour. <laughs> so he's got Tigers, Evos and XGs, all the same colour. So I'm not too sure what he's... Tiger what twos, he said to us before oh, the game. Go. Yeah. Um, fair, uh, fair bowl for Ellie. Yeah, he drops him for... Second shot. Well, looks and things. He hates leaving anything jack high. It's his, it's his pet, <laughs> oh, pet I, pay, I yeah. think it's probably a lot of skippers' yeah. pet hate. Why does he use the wider bowls? Uh, loves a traditional turn. Mm. Can't stand bowls that go straight. Yeah. Probably is key encouragement to anyone, especially for those who are trying to, you know, progress and play more and more back end. You're probably not going to get there if you're using straight bowls. There's a few skippers that you see that can do it. Mm. But it's just the opportunities that you see... Um, 
on the green. I've been fortunate enough to play several games with him and the shots that ordinarily you'd see, there's absolutely no space to get in um, or under and he makes it work. Yeah. Yeah, it gives it another option. Good ball by Bruce here. Goes close ball. to getting shot. It's even funnier when you watch people judge the bowl on an XG line and he's using his Tiger yeah, 2s. Yeah, yeah. So they think he's spooned a drive and in it comes. Yeah, floats in. Yeah, yeah I see someone like Dean O'Neill who plays at Bundor and Yarra. He goes the opposite way. He uses them edge factors, whatever. Yeah. yeah and they, they're they extremely tight. So he obviously would look at a head differently to the way Ali would look at it. But Kelly needs to land. Oh. Okay. Floating through. Kel's birthday yesterday, she... Yeah, nursing a sore head or no, no, very well Quite behaved. Not. So I think uh, her and Ellie went for a nice dinner and uh, mm. no doubt a couple of glasses of vino. But mm. yeah, once you hit thirty-five, you've got to learn to behave a little <laughs> bit more. I think. But yeah, I'm thirty-two and I definitely, <laughs> I definitely know that rule already. Sore head, Bruce. Want to collect? Ooh. I think he's holding. It's hard to see from the angle we're at here, but there's still room for for either side to draw a shot. Plenty of room. For anyone watching, uh, wanting to know the scores at home, the Eastern Rangers versus Strezlecki game after two ends, Eastern Rangers lead 4-1. And we'll get some uh, scores from the other grain once we can send someone over. A lot of balls round around the jack, but not on the jack in this this end. I'm trying to see if there's a number any, anywhere for anyone. The Bendigo guys only have the one in the head. The blue one of Bruce on the right. I think that's blue, isn't it? Yeah, blue. Yeah, I'd imagine that's Ali's next bowl if um, if Lee's not close here. Mm. So you played midweek pennant up here, didn't you, this year? Yeah, yeah. for East, yep. So played uh, in Karen Brennan's ring. She's mm. uh, representing Wimmera. And we had Lee Schreiner play three. <laughs> Judy Davey uh, led up and I played two. So. Stuck rink. Yeah, we were very lucky to have um, Lee as a three. And Karen skipped, so we went well, and unfortunately just got snagged in the final. Uh, kangaroo flat were far too good on the day for yeah. us. That's a top bowl, that Brilliant is, by Lee. Yeah. She uh, absolutely owns the owns the shot now. That was exactly what was needed, and it was sort of whoever got there first was going to completely change it. So good bowl by Lee. Bit of composure to nail that one. Yeah, they had a good year up here, Kangaroo flat as well. Huge hey? year. And... Um, Oh, Susan will correct me if I'm wrong, but mm -hmm. I think it was it was the drought on the grand final or a Division One flag was oh, in excess of 40 years or something. I, I think I heard, I think she said to me in excess of 60, but yeah. again I could be yeah I might be over it was it. yeah they've done a phenomenal job and um, yeah great bunch of people and I think um, no different to the the Clayton Melbourne rivalry mm. the rivalry is up here as much as the uh, the competitiveness on the green is there. There's some wonderful friendships off the yep. green. Oh, that was a good result. I don't know if that's what he meant, but that was a very good result. I think Lee and Bruce is still holding shot, but if Ali can get the Kellys with his next one, now he'll almost certainly turn that ball out. Mm. What about Jenny Miller on the rink next to us? How many? She's in five events. She's going real well. She be needing to get a recovery in the end or not. I was talking to her daughter before and uh, Nick uh, McKenzie from the Force uh, team. Yeah. So I said, how are they? And they said, they're a tiny bit scratchy. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, fair to say they should be because they've done a you know great great effort on making the final. And what a match um, from all accounts. Yeah. You know. They had the lead and Ovens and Murray girls had to fight back. Yeah. So brilliant game from, from all accords. Yeah, they've represented their region real well. So if he can turn the pink, he'll almost certainly take the shot bowler Lees out. It doesn't really matter if he gets the jack as well. I don't think the jack goes, but if he does, because it will push it towards Ali's anyway. So I think there's it's all positives for Ali's forehand I love the way he does read an angle yeah he's yeah very precise as to the area he wants to hit a bowl whether it's you know a foot overweight or he, he's never just arriving on the side of a bowl he knows the exact point he wants to hit mm. here's your tip I asked Josh the question earlier who's your I won't say best who's your favourite left handed bowler 
favourite left-handed bowler? Well, we've got a couple at Clayton. Mm. Yeah, we, we mentioned Ali, we mentioned Todd Simmons. We've got... Um, He's going big. Here he goes. Close. Oh. oh. Do that again. <laughs> He's got his head in his hat. Uh, Wanda, the guys from Bendigo. Two, two after three. How do you approach this format of pairs? You got to play your role, play your lead in your second role, and then get start attacking after that. Or do you attack early? Or um, well, you got to. It's it's depending on who you're playing. Mm. Um, you you know you're obviously always building, but if there's you got to be proactive as opposed to reactive as well. Yeah. Because if there's a shot on early, um, you know get. In our case, I lead up. Kelly will play too. You know, in this yep. instance. Get the shot done early. Yeah. Because if, you know, someone's to start falling short and the shot's gone, makes it very hard later on. It's and even if you line. are to, you know, spray it and it's on the peg line and it didn't kill or th- it wasn't quite the outcome you're looking for, it's giving, um, it's giving whether it be yourself or um, your teammate more and more opportunities. Yeah. We, we take it sort of that, that way. Other people will try and save the shot. But yeah, yeah. Dino correcting us on Cap. Kangaroo flat, you were closer, 46 years. He played in played in that side with Dean. Yeah, she can hold her head a bit here. It's a good bowl. Yep. Great start from Kelly. Bruce needs to drop a metre or so. Coming to the awards night tonight, Courts? Yeah, it should be good fun. So sitting with uh, Annie Miles and crew. So, oh, yeah. Um, obviously... Annie Miles and Kylie are up for the uh, Lightning Player of the Year. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're, we're sitting with the, that crew, so that should be a good laugh. Yeah, good. So I've got some score updates from the other green. Um, Metro West lead the West Coast 5-1 after two ends. Gibbsland trail to Mornington Peninsula 2-1 after two ends. Um, CGM... Oh, 2 4 down against Murray Malley after three ends. Geelong lead Wimra 5 0 after three. And Ovens and Murray lead Central Vic 2 1 after two. So early doors, 18 end games. Um, long long way to go. The long games, these 18 ends, 2 2 2. two Absolutely. Players. You said, you mentioned it, but uh, and I had a very brief mention of it with Josh earlier, but. Ali's sporting an injury at the moment, is he? Tore his calf or something? Yeah, so just before the finals, he was sort of chasing a bowl and um, yeah, heard a bit of a noise which he wasn't too fond of and yeah. getting a bit of physio work. So he's right playing. He's just, uh, when it's your normal action to sort of chase your third bowl, especially yeah. in this game or your first bowl in a game of pennant, yeah. it's quite hard to train the brain to do differently. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. it, mentally it would be yeah, quite taxing on him to not be doing it. Yeah, you don't want to injure your calf. I've done it a few times in the last year. It's not fun. Ali, drawing shot here. Yeah, nice start. It's a good home. Let's see if Lee can jump on again. There's still a bit of room for her to draw a shot. She nailed it last end, so mm. she can do pretty similar here. She can get inside Cal's wing bowl. Bruce likes it. He's up and about, Bruce. He's... He's involved in the bowls, it's good to see. She wants to drop a bit. Josh mentioned that this feels like a narrower hand, this forehand, this way. Did you, did you pick that up when you played in it? Or? Uh, yeah, on at the start, yeah, but as the night went on, it probably uh, got wider and wider. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think Ali might be a bit short, yeah. Still room. See if Bruce can jump on. Morning to Peninsula. We're winning 2-1 after two uh, shares. We'll keep uh, try and keep the scores coming through. I've sent Josh to sort of sit in between the two greens and he'll message the results through. And just for those who can see the um, second game in the live stream after three ends, Eastern Rangers lead Streslecki 5-1. We've seen Mary in Warnable. She was with uh, 
she with was Max. with Maxie. Mm. And uh, then uh, he changed partners. So <laughs> Zachy, Zachy picked Mary up. And, um, oh, well done, Bruce. Well, as they call him, the whiz. Great shot from Bruce. Yeah, there was room to do it, and he did it. Nice to nice to hear from you, Valerie. Go Giffy, we'll let them know. Lisa giving you a bit of stick there. We're trying to work out who's who's better in front of the camera, you or Lisa, after her appearance on the uh, Win News the other night. <laughs> um, yeah, Lisa, look, your Win News appearance is, <laughs> it was interesting. I reckon Jane Bunn might be at risk of losing her job after seeing you. <laughs> Bruce sticking on his forearm. There's a gap to get under Kelly's front pink. It looks pretty close again. Yeah, good balls by him. One Two great ball. balls. Two touches. A pretty clear instruction from Ali there. Mm. Something we've already mentioned. These two are obviously know each other exceptionally well. Um, being partners, but the communication's very clear and concise on the green. Oh, 100%. You always know when the shot's called. See how high she gets around this ball. I'm going to go into it. Does that get in the way of Ali's shot? No. Probably does, though. Yeah. Might have to go a bit bigger. Or come forehand. Correct. Or he's yeah, backhand, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you end up. <laughs> you can confuse yourself playing oh. with a left-hander. We've got, uh, yeah, going back to that, several at Clayton, yep. even in our second. So Kaz is a lefty, Daz. There's Kaz and Daz in the same team. Oh, yeah, we, we've respect. had one vote for Kaz Rothwell yeah. already as yeah. best left-hander. Yeah. It, was, it was from uh, from Roger, so... Yes, <laughs> that's a <our> rather half. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Roggy. What game will be live streamed this afternoon? Uh, we are just waiting to confirm that, Sarah. It'll either be the men's or the women's singles final. But no doubt it'll be a similar setup to this where you can see the Correct. other one in the background and there'll be live updates of the scores. Something I tried to do with the schedule this year, and it's like, it's obviously my first time round running these events. and. I worked on the basis of if I was a player and um, I made a state final, I'd want all eyes on me at, at that moment in time. So I'm trying to separate the finals from other events so there's only the, the two finals going on at once um, to try and maximise the viewings on that. We'll see if it works. Might, might work, might not work. Mm -hmm. right, Ali trying to crack an egg on this bowl, these two bowls of Bruce's. Not that's going to force him back onto the backhand, I think. It's either that or, yeah, play through his own. But they don't, they've really, really only got one ball of Kelly's in the mix, so he can't go huge. Mm. Bruce calling Lee to just get behind mm. the shot bowls. There's a lot behind, you know, where it could lock if he tried to go the kill too. Ooh. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's might have to go the bit more pace. Get through the gap. Yeah, he's got some thinking to do and that's what he's doing. He said if ours goes, it'll be four down. What would you be playing here? Um, I think he's got to come his... I'm just going to have a look at the screen again. I think he's got to come through his own on the front, because if he's coming through his own, at least it's staying in the head, and I'm six feet weight through that, gets the spring, the jack will come straight back to Kelly's ball. Mm. And that way, if he so sort of gets it wrong, at least he's got a ball that stays around the head and doesn't drop a big number more than the two he's already down. Mm. What about you? Yeah, Similar? I'd be playing the same. Which is his forehand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what Ali just said he's going to play, I think. Mm. 
So he goes. He locks it. It's close. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Did it. Probably not the traditional way he yeah. wanted. As we watch on the replay here. Yeah. But the blue shot ball yep. came through and oh. somehow crept in front of Kelly's. Did it. Might still be... I just won. No, just the one down. It's a stiff result. It's good having them replays. So 3-2 to Lee and Bruce after four ends. We were joking around yesterday. Someone needs to start the uh, bowls betting tote. <laughs> With the amount of uh, bar side bets that I heard going on <laughs> last night as to the games that were getting close in the fours for the two games. We've had a, a staff tipping comp for, uh, for this I did hear that whisper. Yeah. So I, I'm not going to say... Who did I tip in the mixed pairs? I'm trying to think now. <laughs> I think I might have actually tipped Ali and Kelly. So <laughs> I've got to... And what's the prize worth, or you're not allowed to say? Uh, I think it's a, a round of drinks at the end. Oh, I that's think. okay. Yeah. So Josh just gives me another update on the score. So Metro West 6-1 up against West Coast after three ends. Mornington Peninsula 5-1 up against Gibbsland after four. Uh, Murray Mallee 7-2 up against CGM after four. Uh, Geelong 7-1 up against Wimra after four. And Ovens and Murray and Central Vic are six all after four ends. And next door is 6-1 to Eastern Ranges against Streslecki after four ends. So a bit of room for Bruce again here. He's going to want to nail a shot. Pretty steady delivery. So when's your next when's your pairs game? Saturday, Sunday? Sunday morning. So Very good shot by Bruce. And who who are you and Kelly playing first up? I don't actually know. I have looked at the draw. Yeah. It's one of those you look at it and then <laughs> I'll have a look for you. Who you guys got? It's a bit of an in joke between myself and Kelly and uh Jan Morton and uh, Gail McKenzie that every year were on the... Well, we burst them in the final two years ago and then we met each other in the second round at Warrnambool. Mm. So we're just pleased we're on opposing sides. You it doesn't are, mean I'm anything. Just yeah, you're uh, on the opposing side. We might it. both fall over in round one. But, um, yeah, we, we can never beat the girls. <laughs> you you are playing against the Wimra pair of Betty Cousins and Sandra Knott. Okay, cool. Now, I know Wimra ladies are in good form. They perform real well at region size. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I think it was fantastic to see two teams that you wouldn't ordinarily see mm. in the finals. Um, I know coming from the Sandbelt region, we've been pretty frequent to the finals. Uh, Northern Gateway are, re are pretty frequent. Mm. Bendigo can pass me. That other section was so tight, there was nothing in it. Yeah. There was um, Streslecki, Wimmer and Bendigo can pass me were all hunting for that top spot in that. And Wimmer got it in the end. Yeah, Lee looks pretty handy here. Yeah. She's going to just want to finish off. Yeah, she started pretty consistently. I think it dropped short, that one. You know, I commented um, on the four stream the other day um, when you were playing against the Ovens and Murray ladies that they showcase some good fight in that region sides. They went down in the game on the Friday and it's always tough to lift yourself when you lose that one game on the first day. Mm -hmm. They battled through Saturday, battled through Sunday, win winning every game. And it wasn't until the last game of Sunday when Northern Gateway lost to Gippsland that got them th onto top spot in the section ladder. Mm -hmm. So some good fight by them. The, um, ability, like the strength of that team, the 12 that they put forward is, uh, you know, you look, there's, what, half a dozen women if they aren't current state members have played mm. in the state squad, whether it be open over 60s, under 25s, you know. Um, so they're, they're a solid unit, but also they don't take anything for granted and they take every team on their own merit. Yeah. And they don't hoot and holler, they don't 
they just yeah they pl- play the game. I don't want to say it in the old fashioned way, but in the in the in the more polite way. They, they keep themselves composed. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's it was no different last night. They were eight zip down, not at any stage. You know, I'm sure there was internal nerves, mm. but they just chipped away. Couldn't see anything from yeah. Mm. So you need to do. Kelly's looking at uh, trying to nail the shot here. She's got room either side. Forehand's probably a little bit more open for her. Granny Whitehead's online. <laughs> She'll be back up. Are you coming back up, Granny Whitehead? I think she's coming back up for the triples on Sunday with Kylie. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, she stopped me as I walked the other night. I told this story and she said, are you Jimmy White? And I said, yes. And she said, I've been married to a Jimmy White yeah. for 50, <laughs> 50 odd years. Unlucky Bob Bruce then. Had good weight too. Still room for Kel now. She want to nail it. G'day, Gaz. It's always your shout. <laughs> it was uh, Gary's 50th the other week, and um, unfortunately Gary's currently um, suffering from bowel cancer, so instead of having your normal-style 50th, he turned it into a fundraiser. Oh, amazing. So, we, uh, yeah, he got some donations, and we did uh, silent auctions and raffles, and uh, ended up raising, oh, I don't know, five and a half, six thousand dollars $6,000, so it was unreal. Yeah, it's great. It's top stuff. It's how to turn a bad situation into a good one and help others. It's, I think that's the best thing about the bowls community. It's something I've enjoyed since I started playing the game at six, seven years old. Just the people in the sport, the characters, and and what they'll do for each other, the way they rally around each other and and support. Oh, that night you just saw it. It was that sense of community that we all love. Yep, you can hear Ali calling Fair this bowl. one in. Yep, great bowl. Well Shot done. from Kelly and hidden it. Yeah, it's tough to get to now for Lee. It's either going to be an absolute draw or play through them two front ones of of her, of her um, the Bruce's. Yeah, we've got. The awards night tonight, Pancare, so, um, supporting one of our awards. Yeah, that's so. going to be unreal. Can't wait. They're um, an amazing foundation. They always, obviously, Mon and Michael do the big uh, stand-up at the Vic Open. We do the uh, Pancare Day. Mm-hmm. We got to do the Walk for Hope virtually last year, which a few of the clubs got in on and because um, we had to do it all COVID safe. So yeah. we had a couple of pit stops at some bowling clubs. Your club was one of yep. them. It was unreal. Yeah, it's a well-supported charity. They're doing some good stuff in in that in that space, and yeah, it's close to close to home with um, Bear, absolutely, Bowl for Melbourne, Richmond, St Kilda, a few different clubs mm. in the Sandbelt area. He was um, one very well-known and well-loved character. I don't think he'll um, you can't really describe the impact he had. Mm. You know, not only from a coaching or a but a personal perspective he was just one of those people you you never forget yeah i actually spend a fair bit of time with his brother now he played in my rink earlier in the year yeah um, and uh yeah we get down to the peninsula a fair bit so we catch up with him he's him and mona great people oh they're unreal he's gonna run no alley you can see the turn on his target twos there i think he'll be unhappy with that jack eyeball yeah he won't be liking it Let's give Lee a bowl to sit to now, or it's a marker of what she needs to be. At least to cut cut a couple of shots out. She, I just heard her say it was quick out of hand. Let's see if she can hit anything. Ooh. What are they holding? At least three. One, two, yeah. I think that front pink one might be in as well. Yeah, and then it's just knowing the reference, yeah. Yeah, it's hard at the angle we sit on and looking at the camera. I mean, there's plenty of times I've been watching BPL, UBC, whatever it might be, and I'm, that, the orange is definitely shot, and then the, the one down, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Even from standing the other end of the green, sometimes you think you can lying shot until yeah. you cross over. I've seen no real 
tactics in terms of length from either of these yet, but Kelly and Ali picked up the first end and dropped the next three, so it'll be interesting to see if they try something different with this length when they pick a few here. He's trying to give Kelly a bit of a pep up there. So there's three coming out, which are the three we thought. Measures coming out. My prediction is she might bring the mat up a little bit more, shorten it up. Yeah, okay. Playing locals, it's very hard to know what to do lengthwise. If you're playing people who are used to a heavy track, you'd be doing that early on. Yep. Yeah. Good pick up by Ali and Kelly there. Four. And then five. Yeah, you're right. I'm trying to think what game we watched the other night, and there was a deliberate... Oh, was it your game, or was it... Um, Tiffo loves taking the mat right up. Yeah, I think it was. It was yours, actually. Yeah, you, there was a deliberate tactic to bring the mat up. That's just her, um, she just is so uh, yeah. robotic at it, yeah. and when she starts nailing it, you don't stop her. So we've played that a lot throughout our fours and had success with it, so we just follow her. Yeah. There's no rhyme or reason, we just let her start yeah. it. Yeah, sometimes that's what you got to do as a as a rink as well. Let, lead's the one that, if they can get you off to a great start, dub the two bowls on, let them do whatever length they want. Mm. You can't overcomplicate that stuff, eh? You're pretty right with your prediction. She brought the mud up, put the jack back. And she's led a good one. Let's see how Bruce, uh, Bruce replies. Uh, there we are. Gar uh, Gary replied. So they raised 6300 in total for the Bowel Cancer Foundation. It's amazing. Well done, Gaz, and all involved. So he's promised he's going to help us with the next Pancare Day. Oh, great. And then they're going to run another Bowel Cancer, so we're going to do a bit of a... Oh, close for a We're um, we are we are talking to Pancare at the moment about what we can do at the Vic Open. This we're trying to do bigger and better things with them and um, really grow that relationship with them and the cross bowl. So it's always a fun day. Yeah, the Pancare Day and get people getting dressed up and all that kind of thing. But yeah, there's certainly some other ideas. Michael and I have sort of been brainstorming a little bit. Kel just hangs on at the back there. So it's one on and one behind, so she'll be relatively happy with that. Bruce looks to have taken some weight off here. I don't think he's a million miles away here. Yeah, good effort. Fair second. Great effort. Get some local applause. That's the uh, the beauty of a bin in their home club, isn't mm. it? I love that. A few years back, uh, what, the fourth final, we played against the Almore girls, and oh, probably 20, 30 people drove over from Machuca, Almore area, uh, yeah, yeah. just to come out and show their support. It was unreal. It's what you want. And even though we've been back bowling for a while, we're um, we've. Uh, We've still missed our live bowl, so people are coming out to watch it. Have you spoken to, to old Jack, who's behind the camera of Ali's end, sitting in his Zimmer frame? He's everywhere. Every event we've had in the last three weeks, he's been there. Oh, really? Yeah. He goes home and writes stories about the day as well. He's a fantastic uh, supporter of the game. Loves it. So where does he belong? He, he's from the Bendigo Campaspe region. I don't oh. know exactly... I don't. I don't think he plays anymore. He just comes and watches. When we had the under 18s events here a couple of weeks ago, he was here every day watching the kids as well. It was great. How fantastic! It's a good bloke to talk to. Ali's close here. Yep. Good ball. What a shot! Six, and he didn't too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. And I was don't mind that player. <laughs> So they've got a one bowl target to aim at. Le Leo just want to make any form of connection with any, even if it's six inches weight past the bowler jack here. Bruce is calling it to, to run down. It's a bit short. Dan, good idea. We'll all have to catch up, get Jimmy involved as well mm. as to what we can do. And for anyone else who's got fundraising ideas or good events ideas as to how we can uh, co-work with uh, 
Pancare on the day of the Vic Open or you know events prior to, please come forward and let us know your ideas. The more ideas, the better. I think they're one of the most... I see them bowl shirts everywhere, the yep. Pancare ones. That's and great. the caps. Yep. They're pretty well protected here. Do you think she should just be trying to load up, or does she want to not create a bigger target than what she already has? We're going behind, but yeah. I think maybe they think Bruce and Lee will come their backhand. Jack will come this side of the... So maybe she was probably two, three feet short from what she wanted to do there, but I think that's the idea they're going for. He, Bruce is down on his backhand. He's not far away. He needs to do some dropping. Very close. Bruce. Wow. Great ball. Let's find some good balls early, Bruce. Doing a good job. Probably got this shot as well. Oh. What was that? Someone's phone? Yep. <laughs> Nothing better than a phone call as you're on the mat. <laughs> it's like you nearly need to do the village cinemas. Could you please turn your yeah, phone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on silent, yeah. at least. Carol's going to want to hold a bit. Joshy Sanders, I hope you're still celebrating your gold medal. No doubt you are. <laughs> We're back up here pretty soon as well, a couple of weeks after this. Um, trials. Yep, for the city country uh, trials. The, um, them teams will be out in the next 24 to 48 hours, so keep an eye on the... Facebook page, Bowls Vic and the website. Should be fun. Mm. Looking forward to the concept. Yeah, so um, ladies will be on the 22nd and 23rd weekend of May at Bendigo Bowls Club and the men will be the following week, 29.30 at Bendigo Bowls Club again. Um, city versus country um, concept. So we'll be numbering and presenting caps to the players and um, who represent. Hey, it's something we can grow as well. We've started with the, the men and women this year, but we can look at that in the over-60s, the under-18s to it as well. So Absolutely. It's a good way to select the, the coming state side for the year. How are you looking to land on something? Jack will be great. Ooh. Flicked it back into the pack. Hard to see. He's got shot. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Bruce is committed. He wants Lee to draw to the pink bowl. What's his call? Ali's coming down for a look. She should have missed that. Should have got to a fair home. Ali's now got a touch in the ditch and just in front of that one of his own bowls and one of Kelly's bowls but I, I can't see Jack going back there now sort of wedged in what's the shot He's looking at the angle. Can he wedge it out? It sits that for three, it's nice, but how do you get that? He's looking at a three bolt plant. Yeah. Kelly's one in front, it's a lot of up and overs to get. Yeah, I was about to say, me and Morton like that, I can't, like myself, I can't see that shot, but. See what he does. Going on his backhand, uh, his forehand, sorry. Looking at it. He's got a lot of dropping to do, yeah. It's too quick. 
Taking the one. Well, that's twice I've done that. So it'll be six four. Janice is saying hello from Kerrang. Thanks for tuning in. Six four after six to Ali and Kelly. Josh is going to jump back on. Thanks for letting me jump on. No, nah, any time, Courts. Thanks for coming in. I'm sure we'll uh, either speak to you later in the week or we'll, we'll see you on one of the streams. Yeah, thank you. All right, enjoy. enjoy. See you tonight. Thanks. Chat coming back. Kelly's going to go further back with the, the map. Welcome back, Josh. Cheers, Jimmy. Bit of a lunch break. <laughs> nice salad roll. <laughs> yeah, the, the rolls have been good here this week, actually. The jelly slice has been amazing the last two days. I don't know what cake I've been having, but it's been real good. I'm the little the dust in the vice in on the top. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had that one yet. It's I good. had carrot cake the first day, which was great too. Yeah, so I've had that, yeah. Um, shout out to the ladies. It's not always the ladies in the kitchen, but no. I'm pretty sure when I've been in there, there's been mostly the ladies in the kitchen this week who've provided the lunch. It's been fantastic. Yeah. Doing a great job. And the and the blokes in the catering shed actually at the back. Yeah, they're doing the burgers mm -hmm. and the egg and bacon rolls and um no, Benigo East have been fabulous hosts. And while we're talking all things Benigo, we've got to give a shout out to the Greater City of Benigo, mm -hmm. who are uh, one of our major partners of this event. So they've been big supporters of bowls for a while. The state championship's been coming here for a long time, so that's fantastic to see. Yep, they help us host the under 18s, over 60s, state disability, multi disability as well. Events, city versus country, which we just give a, a quick plug to before. There'll be more information out about that in the next day or two. I was going to say, I, I did hear on the, some murmurings there that the sides might have been announced soon. So yeah, they've they've been sent <laughs> they've been sent to marketing, so they'll be out soon. Cool. Be interesting to see who makes the sides. Yep. Did you yep. get my score updates on yes, sending? Yes, I was cool. reading them out. Good, we'll good. try and send off for someone else to get two good bowls by Bruce. This is the first time, Josh, we've had a bit of length in the game. We've sort of played at 23, 24 metres yep. the whole time. Yep. Kelly Kelly getting the jack because Bruce didn't throw it far. Uh, Bruce threw it in the pit, I think. Yeah, okay. um, stretched it out a little bit. It's been a... Like, I, I sort of tried to watch from afar when I took that little break. I was watching the other green to get some scores and then... Looking back this way, and there's some ripping heads, from what I can tell in this match. Mm. Yeah, it's been a couple of, couple of tight ones. Sam Belt getting a fall there, obviously, giving them the lead here at this stage. Yeah, but the guys from uh, Bendigo have won. Four singles, so picked up four ends to Sunbelt's two. So they'll they'll feel I mean they're only two shots behind, but they'll feel pretty in control of what they're doing there. Yeah, not bad. Great weight by Lee. Both her and Bruce have um almost taken it in turns to drop bombs on end, so both playing playing well. Mainly draw sh drawing I mm, right Yeah, it's all, all Yali's played the only sort of weighted bowls, which we half look, expect. He's looking close here. Mm, look at the swipe on these uh, Tiger toes there. What a bowl. A bowl. Now, illustrious leader might be someone who might be able to get us some scores. Uh, yeah, I'll flick a text. Jimmy, he's, uh, he's doing some work. He probably could be in a meeting, but he might be able to still look at the window there and uh, get us some scores from the A-green. What's Lee doing now? Oh, I assume she'd be Bruce. looking to fix it. No, Bruce is half interested. Yeah, it's a... All she had to do was fix up her line, really, which she did. She just dropped probably a foot of weight. Another good second. Ali's urging it to be wider, but... To me, it looks like he's coming in on a good line. He's just got to clear the black. I don't think he wants to... Ooh. You can see the sweep on them.
Tigers. He um, what he didn't want to do there was touch his own and probably right. kick Jack that little bit away. So he'll, he'll be he'll be okay with where that finished. The weather gods have been kind to us today, Jimmy. I can't believe this. It's fantastic. Yeah, Rady should have been short. It's actually not, mate. I raced back to Melbourne last night and it was a little bit colder down there this morning. But it was my first night in my own bed last night, Josh, for two and a bit weeks. It's like, well, feel refreshed. It's good to hear, Jimmy. It's in the little one. Bruce coming on his uh, forehand. He's yeah, trying to get inside the alleys. Get, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's close. It's close to what he wanted to do. You know what? He won't be too disappointed that that's gone there either because it's. He could play a bit of a rake through the front to see if he can disturb the alleys bowl that's on the jack, and he's another. It's a bowl back there to catch. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bird nearly getting clattered halfway down then. It's a willy wagtail, is it not? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's right in the middle of the green. Don't remember Warnable, we were talking about birds, and <laughs> I knew the word ornithologist, but I couldn't tell you what birds they were. <laughs> Looks awfully like a magpie, which I can't stand, you know, so... We'll leave footy rivalries out of this one, Josh. Yeah, yeah well. Do you have a team yet, Jim? Um, I didn't. But then my son changes his team every two weeks. He's <laughs> at that age where he can't quite make his mind up. And since we know all the words to the Melbourne theme song, we decided oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to jump on the Demons bandwagon before the start of the season and now I'm glad I jumped on that bandwagon yeah, they'll still choke like they normally do crossing over here skips about to go down and play their bowls Bruce one two two to two to Ali and Kelly oh, I, I, I back two there looking in the head um, still got chances for Lee she can come in on the forehand she gets through her own and will at least might get the second shot, but if she just skirts her mm. in their own bowls and get to that early shot bowl and get that jack back, mm. there's a couple catches there for them. She probably even wants to come slightly narrow with the first to clear that bowl in front. Um a bit of go. I'd, we'll just watch this and I've got the score updates to give after this bowl. Still back in. Yeah, right. That's different to what I thought she'd be doing. Maybe she's trying to cut it down, I guess. Maybe she thinks she can work from Ali's across. I guess the... the, the oh, she's tight. It's going to happen here, though. Not a lot. Um, score updates from the other green. Um, Ovens and Murray versus Central Vic is 7-7 seven, seven after six ends. Geelong lead Wimra 11-1 after six. Central Golden Murray lead Murray Malley 9 8 after 7. Um, yeah, Morning, Morning the Peninsula is up there. 9 5 against Gibbsland after 6. And Metro West lead West Coast 10 4 after 6. Well, I went over there myself and I worked out who was on what side on that particular game, so. Ali's looking just to get the gap here. He could even turn Kelly too if he happens. Mm. Well, I might change the next shot though. I, th I, I think, I personally, I think Lee has to come for him. Yeah. To just try and tap onto the shot ball of Ali. Any bit of weight and rattling in that pack can well, potentially just turn one of those o over in for a second shot. If it, you know. Yeah, and I'm absolutely not questioning the shot she played first though because it certainly looks different when you're playing to when you're sitting on the side but that's why I thought she could have come the first time possibly moved the ball out the way um, yeah she's coming that forehand now 
she's going to have to play pretty good weight to make sure she gets under the front bowl and back down to Ali's shot bowl. Let's see how she goes. Anything can happen out here, Josh. Anything. Well, there you go, second shot. Second shot. Yeah. <laughs> Pro in your, your comments. Ali's just got to try and dead draw here. I reckon he doesn't want to be quick. No, he doesn't want to crack, crack the jack out at the back. Yeah, and I don't think he's forehand's their option, so I think he's going to play backhand. Just get there. If he happens to just get there and get to even the last bowl and mm -hmm. come over, they'll be close enough for second. He's stalking him. It's got to come for that wide swoop. He's got to get around that and one. He will. Jeez, and he he's will. not far. Great bowl. Wow, what a bowl. Should be using Tiger 2s. I don't think you're on the... No, no, I shouldn't have said that, should I? It's I two to Ali and Kelly. And I don't think now. it's just the bowl, mate. Great bowl by <laughs> Ali, then. 8-4. Kelly brings the mat up. I'd peg this next end down as slightly crucial for the goals from Bendigo Campus B. Yeah, obviously um, the Clayton pairing haven't won multiple ends, but I think if they get a couple together, might mo mo the momentum mm. might build a little bit, you know. I think Lee and Bruce have been very consistent. It, it looks like their game's just the, the draw game, which is mm. nothing wrong with that. You mm. know, the old adage is, you know, draw by a little bit, uh, a driver, but, uh, and so they're trying to get bowls in the head, limit any damage. They've played well so far. Better room for Bruce now, see if he can jump on. I think next door, Mason Rangers is leading 12-1 against Rizlecki after seven ends. Yeah, Bruce, well done, mate. He's jumped on. Got given an opportunity and didn't miss. We have um, out in that A green, Jimmy, uh, Murray Mallee, which is my area, so um, no bias, but it, uh, it's fantastic to see a grandfather and a granddaughter playing oh, together. Amazing. Um, Emma Simmons and Wayne Gardner. Wayne's a bit of a legend from up that way, very good bowler, and Emma's only quite young, up and coming, very good bowler, and she's actually skipping the rink, and uh, they started off well. I think there might be just one down from that last score, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're, they're right in this match. That's why I love this sport, mate. That's why I love it. I know um, we might have mentioned it earlier in the week, but in uh, triples, which start on Sunday, I think, um, we've got three father-son combinations across the 16 entries to start with, so family affairs all round. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we, it's, we, love, we love the sport for reasons like that. You've got Ali and Kelly playing together here, they're partners. Um, there's not many other sports you can do that. Go out and play for a state title with your better half or your granddad or your your mum. Could lead to a, like talking about the partner scenario, could lead to a few divorces, Jimmy. <laughs> it would. <yeah. laughs> I, know it, I know it would in my household, which is why only one of us play bowls. Ali's going for it. This misses. There you go. For, like, first sign of early aggression. Uh, Nelson Metro West were 10-4 up after six. Was the last update? That was a, probably three or four minutes ago. Is he going to go again? I reckon. Yep, he is. Doesn't miss many. It's close. Ball got a. Got both of them. Back two. Good result. One down. <coughs> Leo just want to pop another one back in, get second shot again. That'll be the plan. Bit 
quick. Uh, drops in. So we've currently only got two bowls on the green after eight. I've seen you know singles games where there may be one bowl left on the green or even none. Um, not many team games get to that situation, <laughs> you know, particularly when you've got 16 bowls on the rink. So Kelly come in with her third. She's close. With that nice arriving weight, mm -hmm. she's going to finish to a good home. Yeah, gives plenty of options for the sand belt pairing. Bruce, who dotted two on with his first two, but looking to do similar again. Hits him for two. Be happy with that. Kelly, if she's dropped any weight off, she might be all right. It's pretty similar to her last bowl. Good home. Gives Ali options. This is where Bruce really needs to get to tuck he, that jacket yeah, behind. Yeah, if he can tuck it and hide it, sets him up this end. The call, just if he can get a front toucher, push it down. That pace looks okay to me. Got some. Oh, I was going to finish out. It's in for three, but room to cut that count down. Ali went not big, but aggressive with his first two. I think he'd be trying to cut it down. Yeah, more in the draw way to reckon with the first. He likes it. He's a bit tight, I think. He said, that's not my line, I think, is oh, what he I said. Thought, uh, I thought it was someone behind us. <laughs> so he's the ambient mics. Yeah. Bit of a chance here, you know, for, for Lee and Bruce. If Absolutely. Lee can, if Lee can get that, that tuck of that jack we are talking and about. He doesn't want to move it far. It's just enough to hide. Just push it beyond them. Not, the, not the bring the, the back three of the uh, Clayton teams into it. Look, she's got to have good weight. Second prize is to get in amongst them pinks of Kelly's at the back. The worst thing she could have done was really fatten it up, which, yeah. she, which she didn't do. She's got some coverage there yeah, just in case she, she, she draws. She draws the closest to the ditch with that. Now he's got to get back on the draw now. Mm -hmm. It's three down currently, I think. Yeah, he's still tight, I think, Josh. I don't want to say... He's got to get to the bowl. I don't want to say it too loudly, 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 because he's standing right next to the commentary table. But Could have cut it back. Mm. If it was three, it's probably only two now. Might only be one. It's two or one. Would you have been inclined to play the other shot then to maybe sit that last bowl? Mm, yeah. Yeah, good ball by Lee. No jack. Yeah. Great ball. Good ball by Lee. Two, yeah, couple. Ali did cut it down. Score is now 8-6. Yeah, it's good. After eight ends. Yeah, they'd much rather pick a two than drop a two there and be 10-4 down the right six instead. It's good. They're right back, right back on it. They've won more ends. They're probably playing slightly more consistently, I'd say. Mickey West is just uh, commenting on uh, he wanted to thank the Bendigo East for the greens. I'm sure Mick is extremely happy with the Bendigo East greens yeah. after winning the fours yesterday. I'm tipping he's only just woke up. No, I believe Mickey's already home. Oh, he's back in Geelong. Fair play to him. That's what I've heard. Got on the road early. Yeah, 
fair start by Bruce again. He's never a million miles away, he's always in the game. Kelly's going to want to run this one out a bit. Any lady single final later is Marilyn Stevenson against Judy Nardella from Metro West. Bruce, can he work off his own or? Kelly be looking to double up here. Good first one. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. close to canning. Should be fairly happy with that. Hey Susan, Kelly, another Murray Malley person. Um, last score checked our one down, Wayne and Emma. Uh, Try to get another one soon. We'll, we'll get another score update from out the A green very shortly. Drop on it here. Still room. Bit quick. He said it's quick. It didn't look that quick to me. It's okay. It's indicative of these great greens, Jimmy. Yeah. Score next door. We have Eastern Rangers 12 playing Strzelecki 2 after 8 hands. That's how he comes in, corrects on his last and draw shot. Great shot. Stand on his forehand. Are you looking just to arrive? Get to the shot bowl. Get to the jack. It's awfully close. Because he uses both, moves the jack backwards, probably makes four shots. Fantastic bowl there by Bruce Morley. Kelly on the tack herself. Gets rid of one. Back to three. Give chances for the next two.
you get the call from Skip Lee. She's looking for a back bowl here. Look at some cover. And, uh, yeah, very nice home. So another one out. It's back to two. Lee, I reckon, will be looking to try and change the shot up. They've got two good, two good shots, but it's still sitting out a little bit where Ellie could either opt to draw and or attack. If she can move the jack herself... Go a long way to protecting this end for him. She's not far away. Really nice speed. Get her own. Just a bit of jack movement. Good bowl. Some firm weight, looking to get connection on one of the bowls or the jack. It's close, Josh. Get his own, he's half a sniff. Oh. Apologises for that. <laughs> Good speed, they say, those ones. Shows the good sportsmanship, too, by putting his hand up, so. He knew it wasn't the way he wanted to get it. But you never give him back, Jim. <laughs> no, mate. Lee plays something similar. She's got a chance of turning that jack around the corner for three. Yeah, if sitting the ball for three. Correct. I don't she think she likes it. No. Yeah. Bit bit high, bit quick. I reckon Ellie might be erring on the side of caution here. Just a nice soft draw. Yep. Holding one and definitely don't want no movement of anything. The wide draw, the Tiger Twos will start swooping now. Be quick. Oh, close. Wasn't quite full. Picks up the one, so they lead 9 6 at the halfway point. We will endeavour to get some scores around the A grade. Did you not get my text? Didn't see it, Jim. Uh, Ovens and Murray. Uh, against Central Vic is 8-8 eight, eight after 8. Uh, Wimra uh, are losing to Geelong 11-1 after 6. Uh, CGM Murray Mallee is 10-9 and Murray Mallee after 9. 
Mornington Peninsula lead, Gibbsland 9 6 after 7 ends. And Wetro. Uh, Wetro Mist, yeah, eh? Jesus. <laughs> Metro West, Jimmy. <laughs> lead West Coast 10 9 after 8. It's almost as bad as your Sandgate debacle in Warnable, mate. Hey, uh, you may not have heard it, but I did say it once when you were off commentary. <laughs> I lived in Brisbane for a couple of years and it just rings in my head for some reason. Anyway, Sand Belt it is that's playing this game. Thanks for that score update, Jim. We have Bruce with a chance to nail the opening bowl out. You'll notice in the screen there too, for those at home, the, the ring next door, the jack's been pushed right out to the boundary peg. Oh, and yeah. uh, Zach had to wait a little bit to play his bowl just to make sure he wasn't crashing against anybody. And he's probably drawn a shot by doing so. It's always good to compose yourself with them sort of shots anyway. Jack's off low on. Kelly going a bit quick again. Bruce really turned the screw and put a second one in here. Bruce has led well so far. Mm. I think it dawned on me, Jimmy. I actually played against Bruce in a tournament a few years ago. Yeah, right. Well. Yeah, I was looking at him going, oh, I don't. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, two good balls by Bruce. Well done, mate. Great leading. Young Brody Hark has joined the stream today. Murray Mallee champion, champion rep this year. Be heading down to Bendigo either tomorrow or the next day. He, he's actually... He's been lucky, Jim. He's already got a, a forfeit into the quarterfinal. Mm-hmm. We better make uh, the most of that. Yes. Ali's on the attack. She's only just misses. That's twice he's done that. Goes at, goes the early attack. Well, as we said, he he's very good at it generally, you know. So he probably mm. backs himself, get himself out of trouble. Got yeah. some back stuff. Yeah. Bruce calling Lee just behind the head. I think wherever she lands behind, it's a good ball. Ellie will go again. You reckon? Mm -hmm. He's going again. He can get both balls, which is why he's, he's a lot going. closer. He's got Jack this time. Kill. Zach won't in slip field in for us on the next rink. Balls will go. Back. Yep. You can get both bowls, which is why he's, he's a lot going. closer. No he's got Jack this time. In the State Kill. Championships. A replay the end. Ryan Best is a fan of no respots. Oh, With his powerful drive. Yeah, he belts them out left, right, and centre, that's why. I think respot has a time and a place. Absolutely. Nice shortened games and. But yeah, our state championships is, is our more, what we would call traditional style of the game. The 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two, two pairs, 18 ends. No dead ends. Oh, sorry, no respot. Um, play the dead ends. So they can, they can drag on. I mean, I know in Warnable we had a four-hour game. One pairs match. But we are... We did discuss though that probably the best, nearly the best stream game we had at Warnable was the mixed pairs final, yeah, it and was. it was a long game itself, but it was fantastic to watch. Totra Warren and Kyla Krasanik and Matty Flapper and Mark Carroll. Yeah, it was a fantastic match. Yeah, it's better by Kelly. Great leading. Bruce, he's got a fair reply here. It's good. He'll be happy with that. Yep. 
Notice the uh, the number on the back of Zach's shirt, Vermont South shirt. It's new. There's not a lot of mm. numbers getting around in bowl shirts, is there? No. No, they're a good club for a month's size. Try and do things a bit differently. Well done, Bruce. Good, good reply. I've noticed some some clubs. I've even been in a club where you might get a, a cap number. Mm. Uh, East Shepparton, where I, where I coached for three years, did that. You know, mm. when, when you got a, a Division One game, you got a cap with the number on it. You know, to highlight the history of the club. Yeah, yep. that's a good idea. And uh, Shepparton Golf does the same over in that way. And I know I know our very own Jack Aroos does the same. Our national squad. Mm. It's a two good balls by Bruce. Ali or Ali looks just a bit wide. A bit quick even. Ali will want to get to Bruce's bowl, get down to the jack from there. Yeah, the way Ali's been attacking, and he's he might have missed a couple, but he's also got a couple. He um mm. could be something where he's been positive. Probably needs one more bowl on the head, though. If she can get to them two back bowls, it's a handy home. Yep. Yeah, she'll be... Splits them both Split up. Perfectly. Ellie, awfully close here. Got to get to Kelly. Yep. Gets the shot. Ball. Taking a bit more time on this one. I don't mind it at the hand. She's going to get close here, Josh. She's very close. She doesn't want the hole. Trail. Oh, stiff. Very stiff. Good support by some local people for Liam Bruce. Kelly will be looking to get there first. Oh, but yeah, get absolutely. Get, get see that bowl of uh, Bruce's as close to Jack Eye. You sit that, you you got another one in the head, and if you screw off it, yep. I don't think she's far away. No, she's close. Warner speed. She's got to hurry. Oh, yeah. good home. Mm. Great effort. Um, so Evans and Murray on the other green lead. Uh, sorry. A level nine all after ten with Central Vic. Geelong lead Wimra eleven three after eight. CGM lead Murray Malley fourteen ten after twelve. Uh, Gibbsland trail to Mornings Peninsula seven nine after eight. The ball ball Bruce there. And Metro West lead uh, behind against West Coast ten eleven now. Must be a nine. number there. That's a big number from the last score. West Coast has obviously picked something up. Yeah, it looks like they've picked up Seven. five in three ends. There you go. Kelly, hurry. Good effort. Ooh. This is turning into a very good end. One one there, I reckon, nearly for Benico Compaspi. Probably need another one in there. Or yeah. just a little bit of Jack movement. Yeah, Jack will sit Kelly's bowl, either or. He's not short, Josh. Uh, he's positive. Well, he's close, you know. Oh, well, anything can happen here, mate. Oh, lucky. Tough result for Bruce there. Yeah. Two to Sam Belt now. 
Haley will be looking to probably just on his forehand as he's a lefty. Stay high. Get down to those back bowls of Bruce and Lee's. Finish in a good spot and count nearly. Mm. Coming now. Ooh. Wasn't far from what he wanted. Lee be looking yard or so away. Try and get to the pink bowl, but if she can shoot that jack the other way, which it can do the way it's situated, she could squeeze it sideways and sort of back for four. Mm. Bruce, yeah, Bruce is close. close. Got to keep dropping, got to keep dropping, got to keep dropping. Stiff. Still, still there. I think there's room for everyone here. I think there's still shots for well, Bruce and Lee, but I think Ali can just sit that back bowl. Yeah, exactly. And if he happens to be wide, he, he, he flops in a good spot to protect that if shot. He si if he sits that bowl just behind the head to the right, as we look at it, of um, Bruce, that'll bring in that'll bring in the front one yeah. and probably the wing one. Well, so it's d it'll definitely be something Ali will be looking to do. Be a big bowl in the game. This it's coming now. Yeah, it's coming now. It's close, Josh. Most close is drawing another. Yeah, great bowl. Yep. Probably forces a change of hands potentially here too. That was a call from Kelly. She said better. That was like the heads now better for them. Yeah, there's less chance of the jack going to that pocket of bowls of Bruce and Lee's. I still might play back in and reach and land something. I think it's a very tough shot for Lee here. Where I'm sitting, and again, we're not sitting right behind the head. The forehand doesn't look a bad shot. Yeah, it's the shot I'd be going for, mate, as well. I just think on the backhand, she's only got balls to be stuck behind. Well, and she happens to be narrow, she rolls Ali in for the count. She actually happens to hit the outside of Ali's last bowl and stays that side of it. She'll pop their closest one out of the head too. But as long as she as long as she clears Ali's front bowl on the forehand, there's a lot more positive options for her. But we'll yep. see what she goes with. Yep. We've been proven wrong a couple of times today. Or we've mm. called the wrong shot many a times. Played. She is going forehand. Yes, we're wrong. <laughs> Shows me now something, Jim. Can't play him, but can call him. What do we reckon? He's having a good look here, Bruce. She's got to clear the front one. I think her speed's keeping her out. Yeah. Be three shots, I reckon. Yep. Three to the Sand Belt team. Score is now 12 6 after 10. Good start by Kelly again. Starting to find a rhythm a bit. Yep. I do find her a rhythm player, Kelly. See, so when she gets in a groove, she's especially up front leading. When she uh, represents Canada, she's generally either the skipper of mm -hmm. the team's event or she's playing singles, so... Mm -hmm. she oh, um, Bruce. Bruce is close. Get down. Oh, it just hangs. I like it. Good effort. She's 
good again. Yeah, two great lead balls. Good balls. A raw smile from Alan. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you say it's a good bowl, but it's a good bad bowl. You know, mm -hmm. it makes the head fatter and gives the opposition something to land. He still wouldn't be overly disappointed. He's well, Bruce just got to play the same shot. Yep. He's close. Yeah, he's close. Well done, Bruce, I think. I think? Yep. Yeah. Well done. Well done. The opportunity was there and he just took it. Would have lit up, you know, would have looked more like a watermelon versus a little, you know, tennis ball. Alley, just a little quick with his first. Not a bad side of though. Yeah. It's a good good miss out the back as well. Gives him a, an option for later on. They'd be looking to add to the count. Yeah. She's called it quick again out of hand. Again. I think they'd rather that than dropping that far short, Jim. Yeah, so correct. You know, it's, 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 I think it's a useful ball. We, as I said, we've discussed that we, we know Ellie's an attacking player, so... Shaking his head, I think at the rink next door they just crossed over into his rink. And yeah, the guy's done it again. He's he's walking he's very wide. He is on the line. <laughs> he can get a bit grumpy, Elias. <laughs> <laughs> Played a good bowl here. Yes. Might have the jack. No, it was, was well worth the wait. Great bowl. He did very well to recompose himself a couple of times there. He wasn't happy with people walking in his eye line from the rink next door. He's got to start, stop using swoopy bowls. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic bowl. Let's see how we get more interference from the <laughs> rink next door. So a drive comes careering into this rink. We are playing them next to each other. Green Gabby wanted to rest a few rinks. Yeah, no, that's totally understandable. Been a fair this, bit of balls This played. green is our, our, I guess, our main green. So, nothing wrong with that. Mm. All the greens are great. Jimmy, with the, uh, the state championships this week, we've taken a bit of a office sweep, a bit of a mm, yeah, friend, friendly competition. Who have uh, you taken in the mixed pairs? I'm pretty sure I took Ali and Kelly. And yeah. Who did you take? I took Ali and Kelly. I'm not giving me chances, considering I nailed both fours events last night. Mm. Yeah, I noticed the league table came out this morning. I, I, know, I was did reckoning if you hadn't got the two, it wouldn't have been coming out, but... No, I'm, my my name's not Tony Sherrill. I, I I actually still put the table up, you know. Bruce, great ball by Bruce. Yeah, some good bowls this end as Bruce bowled well all game.
I noticed our marketing and communications manager only put a couple tips in. She's a bit slack with her tips this week. Not a bad home there by Kelly. Mm. It's where the Jack could potentially go. It's for themselves too. I haven't seen too much aggress- aggression shots from Lee and Bros. No, but it's getting to the stage of the match where... They're going to have to make something up. Well, I said, can't, if they drop them ones to them is no good at this stage. They need to be scoring on trot. If they could string even some singles together, well, that's half a sniff. Mm. Good home. Fair effort. Chez, yeah, we'll get you some scores from that of the green. On the green next door, on the rink next door, Eastern Rangers are leading 15-4 after 11 against Streslecki. We'll try and get you some scores from the other green shortly. See one of our men's finalists in the background, Stevie Sullivan. He's uh, his singles game this morning against our, our reigning, and he will be reigning for a few more days. Champion, champion. Reese Jeffs was fantastic. Stevie was in red-hot form. Mm. He'll be looking to take that form into the final this afternoon against Nathan Murray. He's already knocked out a few good players. Yeah, Nathan Murray's ru- draw is probably one of the toughest of who he's played so far. Right, oh, Ali. What a bowl. Ali, great bowl. We might actually see some aggression here. Bruce has indicated give it a bit of a wait. I think, yeah. I think she has to. I can't see any other option for her, really. I don't think she can get back on the backhand to draw the shot. Bruises look for a backhand weight. Mm. Here we go. Mm. So I think she's hanging. Unfortunately for them. Oh well. Sometimes you get the bad one out of your system and then nail it with your second. She hasn't drove really this game, so. Ali saying he's looking at getting the Kellys and splitting them over to create more of a a hazard for Lee's bowl coming in. Both skips got one bowl to play. I don't mind the idea of him playing something similar, which is his backhand around that short one of Bruce's. But if he can happen to get his to his own or the other, he flops and changes the head a little bit and maybe moves one of them out where they're not his biggest target. But his point, he, he was indicating to Kelly's bowls. But no, I think he's going to be what you want. You were saying, I think it's a fair call. And even if he ducks underneath, well, he's not far away. Look, that's probably fourth shot nearly. Close. There will go again. Some encouragement by Bruce. See how she goes. Definitely tied up. Yeah. Got to get underneath the pinks. Get out of the way, Bruce. <laughs> Two. Two it is. Takes the score now 14 6 after 11 ends. I'll see if I can get older some updates from the green next door. Sounds good, Jim. Nice starter there by Kelly. Her last four or five ends in particular been really good. Setting the sand belt team up. And 
her and Bruce, who's leading against her, have had a ding dong battle so far. Great leading by Kelly. Bruce not far away himself. down here looking to turn one of his own of Kelly's. One in, one out. It's in the area. Got a comment here from Tommy T-Bone Lister. Do you think it's the more attacking style of the game that hasn't been holding the lead so far in this game? It's an interesting one. Um, they've definitely been a lot more positive, T-Bone. Um, Probably Ali's played some very telling run shots when they've been in trouble and got them out of it, so you could probably say that. Um, Bruce and Lee have not been far away for the majority of the match, so they're actually going quite well. Some scores from the other green. Ovens of Murray Central, Vic. I feel like every time we call this the level. They're nine all after ten. Uh Wimra um are losing to Geelong eleven seven after ten. Uh Central Gold Murray lead Murray Mallee fifteen twelve after thirteen. Uh Mornington Peninsula lead Gibbsland fourteen seven after nine. And Metro West and West Coast are twelve all after eleven. Lee just a little long again. Who's holding shot, do you think, Tim? Uh, I think... It's nearly Bruce's ball, isn't yeah, it? I think it is Bruce. Yeah. Kelly will just look to turn her own in here, or draw, around the back of it. Yep, gets it, gets it good. Jack or bowl for Bruce. Draw the jack, draw the bowl, either or. Yep. He's just got to hang his head a Even bit. Even if he gets through his own, he's half a sniff. A Oof. <coughs> Good effort. You see there's a quick changeover. Kelly been here looking to draw to those last, that bowl. Mm, and with that's the other where Jack's going a bit more. Yeah. yeah. And gives protection for them the next bowl of Ali's potentially to move it himself then. Yeah. Just gonna hurry. Good ball. Yeah, good home. Very good home. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce yeah. said he'd taken it off, which he did, but it was not that far away. Hmm. 
I reckon Ali now gets to his back end, which is uh, on our left side of screen, and he'll be looking to maybe move the jack himself, take the danger cool. away, play the shot before the opposition. Well, if he gets it, he drugs it for four as well. Yep. He gets it right. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's, uh, he's not up with that ring next door again, you know. How'd he go? He doesn't look far away, to be honest. Mm, he's close. What a bowl. Oh, it probably went further than he wanted it to. Still got shot. Good bowl. Just stiff with the... Just right. marginally quick. Yeah. Good thing that about that is that he, he, he's changing the next shot for mm. the for league, you know, and so she's probably gone to the mat thinking, I'm going to be playing forehands here soon, and then now she's going to play backhand. Keeps him guessing. She's close. Josh, going to drop one. Needs to drop. Needs to drop. Oh. Kick, tick, back, across. Kelly signals they are holding one. Is that one in about one, two, three, four though? <laughs> For the second shot of uh, Benigo Kambaspe. Do you... Oh, do you... How attacking do you get if you're out in Kelly? Uh, the, you've, the, problem you've got is, a lead. the problem is, one, they've got the lead. Two, they've got nothing behind. So mm. the one bowl they probably need to get out of the head, if it happens to get onto the jack and goes past, they're going to go three down. And if it goes into the back corner, it could even be more. I think having the one... Is good enough for them yep. at this stage. Yeah. It'd be different if they're behind. You'd take the chance. Yeah, good bit of game management. Need some big hope on this yeah, time. Yeah, but it's coming. Going to get it. Oh, flopped. Great if effort. If it flopped, it would have been two. Great effort. Interesting call there by Bruce. He's looking to play something similar and get to that outside bowl of theirs and try and sort of screw off and come in. Hard. Yeah, look, honestly... If I was in their shoes, again, I'm not criticising them, but I think it's the time where you nearly need to play that forehand through the hole and get the, their closest bowl through the jack and past. Mm. They're eight behind with seven to play, and they're one down at this stage. But I'll clap if she gets it. Oh, <laughs> she's close, Josh. She's close. On over. Oh, 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 sensational. Well done, Lee. Bruce, the super shot caller. I'm the clapping. Great bowl. On over. I wish you'd have heard you come. Get back. Oh, oh, sensational. <laughs> well done, Lee. 14 7. Two thirds of the way through the match. 12 ends in. That's definitely sealed it for whenever I play with you next. You'll be leading. Based off that call. Funny that, I haven't asked you to play with me yet, Jim, so. <laughs> Fourteen seven. Six ends to play. Good lead bowl there by Bruce. I was saying before when you nicked off and got some scores there, Jimmy, that uh, it's been a bit of a ding dong battle between the two leads. Mm. They both led well, and, yeah, Kelly and Kelly's. Yeah. I said Kelly's last four or five ends have been great. Yeah, she's real stepped up. I think um, Bruce was has been more consistent from end one, but yeah, last four or five ends, Kelly's. Jumped up and start to find some rhythm. 
Bruce goes close again here. Good effort. Just need an extra foot of weight. She's got near ya. Scores next door for those interested. Eastern Rangers playing Strzelecki in the mixed pairs, and Eastern Rangers are leading 16 4 after 12 ends. Very close bowl here by Lee. Yeah, Bruce liked it the whole way. He was saying promising from out the hand, right there. Very close bowl here by Lee. Yeah, Bruce liked it the whole way. He was saying promising from out the hand, right there. Ali already on that positive mindset. Coming to a good home at the very least. Mm -hmm. He's on a fair stalk of that one as well. Two bombs. Two absolute bombs. Great bowls by Lee. This is exactly what they need to get back into this game. Sensational bowling. That's three in a row, actually. She played a, played a horn on the last one as well. Approaches ahead, the way he's calling Kelly, that he's asking questions there is, is great. Yeah. He's, he's looking at all options and he's asking very clear questions. So he's obviously weighing up whether to draw, which I think that's what he's doing right now, or looking to use that sort of bank on the other side mm -hmm. to get some movement. He's actually played some cracking draw shots this way. Yeah, he's close. He's cl oh, he's got a hang. Yeah, they're all white. Yep. Yeah. Well, what do you do if you're Bruce? Personally? Come the back end? Yeah. Well, he's four and he's left under. Yeah, right? good point. Um... As I said, they're seven behind. It's time to put a bit of pressure back on the other way and get some scoreboard pressure there. He can come down, nice positive draw, land the pink, you'd make five shots. It's, it's hard to see from where we are and based on the the camera angle, but if he gets the blue, he might even get down to the pink as well. Like yeah, it's a absolutely. Wide, it's a wide a, a, an edge off. And again, it's got options. I don't think you can get down to the shot bowls really unless you're playing softer yeah. weight. Mm. To, to do any damage. Yeah, he's come in that hand. Although it's wide out of the hand, whether that's deliberate or not, I don't know. Go the back early, maybe. Look, I guess if they do crack some at four and Jack might go that direction, this is probably in the game. See what Kel's got. She just play third for Clayton in. 
Premier League. So it's the sort of shot and the sort of position she'll be used to. Yep. my junior admin assistant coming over to ask me a question no Bob Gilbert Kelly she's not far away she's very close to her own great ball Holding? No? Uh, close. Close. Going to his back end. Just look and turn the bowls of Lee's over. Mm. Try and turn them in for shot if they're not already. But Wide again. Just a little bit. A bit heavy. Can he get to a good home though? Sets them up still. This head's still not bad for them in this where they're situated. Ali declares that they're one down at this stage. Yeah, well done. He yeah. wanted to cover off the numbers at that's the back the, there. That's where mm. the danger was for him. So now, and, and it also gives Ellie an opportunity to be positive and try and get shot himself. Mm. And I see a good shot there for him. I mean, obviously Bruce and Lee might change it before then, but there's definitely opportunities there. If I was Lee, you know, try and still get one of those bowls over and change the head a little bit. Well, she's in the, she, if she's within two feet away, Jack coming back's okay. If she does get through and gets a, a strange angle out of a ball in the jack. I think there's options for both sides here. Absolutely, Jimmy. Could be one of the men's that changes the game. They're getting towards that point where a number for Ali or Kelly might put them out of reach, but equally a number for Lee and Bruce brings them right back in it with a few ends to go. Gives them some, some momentum. She's coming now. Look mm. at the swoop on the bowl. She's nearly going to draw it around the bowls. Oi. Well done, Lee. I, I fear that we want to see some weight here, Jim. Yeah. I, I if his one goes, the one closest one goes, he's only going to be one worse off, right? Mm. Um, the, but the way the head's situated, you see that for those watching at home, the, the pink bowl that's sort of resting against the bowl, any weight in that's nearly going to jam all those bowls if Benny goes out, mm. you know, and, and probably get some jack movement as well too. What Ali's looking at is if he happens to be narrow or wide, depending on what hand he does, he probably gets a similar result as well too. I can't see any situation where both their bowls go without taking a fair few, but the opposition's bowl or the No, I think you're right. I mean, to be honest, I think if he hits that front pink jack goes, the way the cannon, yeah, the double absolutely. cannon. And that's probably heading out of bounds unless it sort of mm. bounces on something and hangs around. Or he doesn't go big pace. Here we go. Close. He's nearly got the first one. 
There we go. And we said it was going to happen. I'll replay that one. Good hit. Here we go. Close. He's nearly got the first one. There we go. And we said it was going to happen. I'll replay. So it's still 14-7 after 12 ends. Yeah, not a bad start by Bruce there. Kerry commenting that Kerry, this, the secretary is saying about commenting the resolution so good we can see the ants. It's, uh, that's phenomenal. I would have thought they'd be big ants still, Jim. <laughs> I wonder who they're barracking for. Yeah, well done, Kel. Good leading. As long as there's no snakes on the green, Jimmy, I'm happy. Mm. For those uh, at home, score next door on this green. We only got two games on this green this afternoon. I've got Streslecki playing Eastern Rangers in the mixed pairs, and Streslecki is six trailing Eastern Rangers, 17 after 14 ends. We will try and get you some scores from the number A green. Yeah, Lee looks okay here. Yeah. She's drawn really well this game. Uh, is she going to fall though? Oh. <laughs> Double fall. And uh, Annie getting a bit grumpy again. <laughs> Bruce Moy moving beyond the head. Fair though, when you're ready to bowl your bowl and someone's moving around. Ali was coming very hard then too, mm. wasn't far away. And some scores coming through from the other one. Just got the one at the moment. Evans and Murray and Central Vic are 12 all after 13. They've been shot for shot all game. Oh, play. Great play. Two rippers. Uh, Geelong 12 9 up against Wimra after. 12. Wimmer was forming a bit of a comeback there. They were like 9-1 down at one stage, I reckon. Right 
I hold him one or two, you reckon? It's hard, the call eh? was one. Yeah, right. The fall. So I'm back in the call. It's not set up as well for the sandbelt crew this end. It's not terrible or anything, but it just... CGM is 16-13 up against Murray Mully after 15. Good own by uh, Bruce. Bruce. Covers both sides of the back of the head for them. Hard to see if they get another shot though. Got to try and tap the front bowl of these. Oh, Kelly. She just needs to get to the outside one first and then flop in. She wasn't far away. Metro West lead West Coast 18-12 after 13. Far away. Still only one. <laughs> They've got. I mean, Kelly's got four bowls within <laughs> two feet. A dustbin lid. There's still a shot there on Ellie's forehand. Just getting down just to the shot mm. bowl. He only has to flop it once you make two. Yeah, clip Bit it. Bit of jack movement sideways. Well, you could make more. The only real danger for them, and it's not massive, is that they got through the short one and somehow it come through and got the jack back a little bit and made three mm. to Bruce and Lee. What's Lee going to do? I think the... Uh, the mm. a few rippers down with the last few balls. Her drawing's been phenomenal. Mm. Like it's not far away again. Super dome. They're all useful balls there. The last score from the other green is 49 and 1 in a peninsula after 11. Ellie's looking like he's playing some weight. Yeah, he's going to kill. Going the big weight. Oh, so he's clear his first. Oh. I don't know how he didn't touch, touch the puck then. I'll watch it again. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how he didn't touch the, touch the pack then. Clipped the ball just before, didn't I? Yep. I don't see any danger for Lee here. If she wants to try and add another. And probably, if anything, the best results get to that there. Her shorter of the two bowls try and sort of shunt the pink sideways and come up over the top. Oh, I think she's just got to get another one around because if there's a chance that all three well anything can happen if Ali hits it with weight I never like the fact when there's three balls bunched together of your own
Interesting to see what if he goes again. He's gone firm again. <laughs> Look at Lee crouching behind him. It's close, Josh. Very close. Actually, that wasn't the one thing I didn't couldn't see. <laughs> was them two standing and the rest going. Yeah. Good hit. Stays the same. No worse off. Score is now 14-8. Five to play. After 13. Singles at this stage isn't going to do it, but if they get a couple in a row within within range, then a the multiple might help. Mm. They've they've scored on. I'm just checking the score here, just to double check. Right, they've one more end, though. They've scored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the thirteen. Kel's got to hurry here. Roll door is open for Bruce to real nail it and start this pressure to get back into the lead. You any good at ironing, Jim? <laughs> no. I imagine I'm better than you, though. <laughs> yeah, I might be looking for someone to iron my shirt this evening. I'll send you down the the local craft beer shop picked me up a couple of fresh IPAs mate I'm more than happy to do them for you it's probably the loosest of the Leeds bowls in the last five or six hands yeah. if not longer yeah there's room for Lee, and Lee's been uh, drawing real well. Really well. Oh, fairly important bowl. She can jump on then she can keep the pressure on. Got a score update, Jimmy? Yeah, a couple of them games tighten up in the background. I just watch this bowl of lays coming first. She's, if she collects, she's good. Needs to collect. So yeah, good. Still a good bowl. Yeah, she'll be okay with that. Uh, Ovens and Murray, Central Vic 13-12, the way of Ovens and Murray after 14. Uh, Geelong lead Wimmera 12-9 after 12. Uh, Central Golden Murray lead Murray Manley 19-13 after 16. Mornington Peninsula and Gibsland's got a bit closer, so 14-12 to Mornington Peninsula after 11. And Metro West lead West Coast 18-13 after 14. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, there's room here. I, I, I get there's a, a bit of a momentum shift coming if Lee can nail a bowl there, I think. Yes, big chance here. She doesn't look too far away pace wise. It's a counter. Mm -hmm. Calibre Alley, you'll likely see some good correction here. Yeah. Needs to run, Josh. Doesn't.
see what Bruce can do on his backhand. Yeah, pretty handy, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, something. Yeah, well done, Another Bruce. canner. Well, more than another canner. It's the numero uno. Yeah, Ali calling Kelly to just try and draw for a second shot here. So One, cut it down a bit, but mm. two, get something to work with as well. Kelly's not far away. She's gonna have to. She gets get out half. that side. Oh, great ball! Yeah, that's good. That's good. Handy second. Yeah. I think Bruce stays where he was. Gets under. Yeah. Gets the trail. Gets to the ball. Works down to the jack. Yeah, I agree with that call by Lee. Got to get down a little bit. It's coming now. I just think it's his pace. It's going to let him down. Oh, it's a good effort, Bruce. Not too much damage done. Oh, the by sort of sitting that bowl up at Kelly's. No. It's still there to be worked from, and he even gives it more of a, a, t a two bowl port to work him from. Yep. Same for Kelly though. She she oh, want to just do it she, first. She, yeah. she just gets her, her own bowl. She screws off sideways. She'll probably go close to Jack. Just underneath, she's going to get to the Jack or the bowl. She needs to hurry. Just needs a speed bowl. Yeah. Right. Well, it's going to be a question of who can get here first. I think. Eh? Lee's got chances. She gets down 18 inches, two feet of weight. Come down, turn the jack herself. One, you hide the jack a bit. You might make three. Mm. She gets the pink bowl straight, which she can. Make maybe four. Still leaves chances for Ellie. Then she gets the outside of her own bowl or Bruce's bowl and punches the pink three with that weight. It would potentially change it up as well. Yep. Just as similar to Bruce. Yeah. Doesn't want to get the double. It's, uh, it's okay. Just makes it a bowl. A bowl small, like a, a target half a smaller. It, it, it does, though. I like it better from the fact that if you want to land that blue bowl for then to push that pink bowl through, mm. it's a really good count. As I said, it's probably tight in the head to a point where Ali's going to get a couple screwing options off the bowl. Can I say that on live stream? You've said it, mate. He needs weight to hang past yeah, the pink. Yeah, he's not going to. Nothing really doing with that ball. Big bowl here. Do you think they're saying that if she plants that front bowl of Bruce's, the pink goes and it might be five or six? And what I reckon Bruce has said too is if you happen to miss, play the weight, which is what he was indicating, that's going to get to that pink and black bowl of Ali mm. and Kelly's. Could be a, another big bowl in the context of the game. She happens to miss high, gets to the pink, then she's in a good home. Right, how's she gone? Needs to get down from there. Yeah, not gonna. Ali looks like he's going to play the same weight, just needs to get a bit higher. He's 
Definitely higher. Definitely quicker as well. Another one to Bruce and Lane. Bordering on the dangerous side of things there. 14 mm. 9. After 14, we have four ends to play, Jimmy. Uh, game next door is over. Eastern Rangers mixed pairs combination of Mary Farley and Zach Woning have defeated the Strzelecki pair. Shane Lachlan and um, Jenny Miller, 23-6. Yeah, Bruce, another handy start. Yeah, Kel with a decent reply. Game pretty well poised. Just sort of waiting for a number to come from Bruce or Lee or a number from Ali and Kelly to really put the game out of sight. But Bruce and Lee have won the last three ends, picked up three singles to, f to keep themselves right in it. Yeah, good ball, ball, Kelp. Uh, Todd, uh, 18 ends this game, mate. So, we're on in 15 now. 16, 17 and 18 to come. Kelly holding two. After that we got after this we've got some singles finals to come, men's and ladies. Ladies between Judy Nardella from Metro West and Marilyn Stevenson from Bendigo can pass beat. Steve Sullivan from Geelong against Nathan Murray from Yarra in the men's. Yeah, good effort by Lee. Superb weight. Ali just missing his way, but getting right back to fairly decent home. Foot or so in front of the the tee. See if Lee's corrected a line on this. She definitely looks higher up on the on the rack. Let me get down. Good effort. Be looking to capitalise on Kelly's two good lead bowls here. Mm -hmm. Just turn the jack ever so slightly around the corner. In a good home. Mm -hmm. Better setup from from these two. It's probably been their best setup for a couple of ends, Jim. Uh, yeah, I know, I agree, yeah. Lee and Bruce have been drawing really well and had some good heads the last couple and it will probably only take one real good end from Kelly and Ellie to maybe really nail the screw a little bit if you want to call it that.
It's not far away, Josh. Bruce. Good Jack. Bruce. Great let. Great bowl. Kelly looks close here. Yeah, she's in the area. She's turning down onto it now. Yeah, she's got to clear that bowl. Yeah, great bowl. Good reply. Very good reply. Lee flipping Bruce over onto his um, backhand. Foot. Yeah. These Molly Dukas, Jim. It's not bees. Yeah. Mm. A bit short, I think. I was going to say, I wasn't convinced he was there. It's opportunities here. That's what I was thinking. Mm. I appreciate Ali being so loud with his calls, it means we don't have to repeat them. It's good. Not far Ooh, away again. Oh, get down. Good effort. Not far Ooh, away again. Oh, get down. Good effort. Lee and Bruce really need another ball in the head of you, Jim. Mm. The one shot they've got is very vulnerable at this stage. That's right. I think <laughs> Bruce's last, last ball really is in the way of the shot that Lee called him on. Yeah, so she's going back to the her back end. Yeah, they may be wary of that bigger weight. Jack going back, they didn't get nothing beyond the Jack really, so it's a fairly handy ball. See what Ali's got. You play that similar pace, the ditch weight that Gally played? I think so. That's a tight line for his ball. Yep. With that pace. Matty Brown saying there. Bruce and Lee bowl very well. They have. They have indeed. This, that's why this match is still not over. There's not much in it. And they've lost. They've won the last three ends in a row. They've won more ends in this match so far. Did you say draw to the plinth or draw to the pink? Draw to the pink, I reckon. Where he's putting his foot was like a... Attempted a blocker, I reckon. <laughs> Hardest shot in balls to play. Well, I guess he's looking, seeing what the danger is there and trying to avoid. <laughs> he made, made a good blocker.
I'm just going to stick with what he played. He'd be still looking just to turn the pink bowler Kelly's over under the jack, I reckon. He's higher. He's not far. He's coming now. Oh. Another one. Score is now 14-10 after 15 ends. They've eked the way back into this of Liam Bruce. Four, four singles in a row, last four ends. Fair start by Bruce. No, he's leading well. Valerie will try and get some scores for you shortly. The game next door, Eastern Rangers have won that one against Just Lucky. I have seen the Mari Mali pairing walk off the green. So I don't know what that means. They were down the last score we got. I reckon it means they finished the game. Well, yeah, but what I was inferring, Jim, was uh, I don't know whether they won or lost. Yeah, good again by Bruce. Another great leads bowl there by Bruce, and Kelly's coming down and not far away herself either. CGM did beat Murray Mully, Josh. President of uh, Bendigo Bowls Club, Jeff Briggs, commenting. Good You'd be very Jeff. happy with the way they've been mm -hmm. playing. Representing the club very well. Briggs is a great bloke. Yeah. Great for bowls. Does an awesome job of country wake up here. Absolutely. He's always been the media guy for a long time up this way too. Always used to jump on the news and talk about bowls. I stole your thunder this week, Briggsy. I apologise. The wind news dragged me on one. This <laughs> See my... Big head on the uh, score update from the other green. Central Vic lead Ovens and Murray 15-13 after 15. I reckon that's all the extra practice Stan Mill had after turning up a day early for his competition yesterday. He's not Central Vic. He's Wimmera. Oh, well, sorry. Wimmera, yep. Uh, talking about Wimmera, the 13-12 down to Geelong after 14. So that's got close. Geelong will well up early. Ali just asking it to run a bit. A bit short. Oh, and Gibsland have turned the tide against Morning to Peninsula. They lead 15 14 with one end to play. They've been down all game, every update we've given. They've now jumped in front. Joe Martin and Brad Lancaster. They were, yeah, they have been. Oh, 
Liverpool. Good ball by Lee. Who are your tips in the men's and ladies' singles? Now, my tips in the men's and ladies' singles hasn't been as fruitful as some of my other selections so far. Yeah, same. Sally comes down here looking for the jack. Oh, stiff result. Still a good bolt. Um, you know I'm out. So, so I'm not sure. Did anyone take Stevie Sullivan? I Bob. No, she didn't. she didn't. What about Nathan Murray? Did anyone take Nathan Murray? Shows how good a tippers we are. Pretty sure I took Reese. Yeah, no, we all had Reese or J by. A few, a few had uh, Marilyn in the lady singles though. Oh, Bruce. How'd you go, mate? I reckon they've got a chance for a, a number here. We can clear these front two. Oh, yeah, push that up. Zone. Holding three. I reckon I reckon there might be some attacking on Kel's backhand. We haven't seen Kel play too many attacking balls. I know she definitely can. She would definitely reach on the backhand, I think. You'd think so. That's exactly what she's doing. She's just high. Only slightly. Room for adjustment, though. She She's there all there. It's like a, a darts player when he... It's the lander, a double, and gets close to the first. It's always a good guide for the next one to try and land it. Uh, Lee not wanting the Bruce to build any more of a target down there, so she's calling him sort of wide and behind just to get some cover. In case the Jack goes there. Yeah. Drawing Jack high there wouldn't be a good sit wouldn't be good for him and fatten the head up a yeah, little too he's much. He's pretty much put it to where Lee put a foot, so um Yeah. Uh yeah, the streamed game after this we've just been told will be the men's singles final between uh Steve and Nathan Murray. But we'll have the women's right next door so we can quite easily provide score updates for that one. Right, let's see if Kel can make the adjustment adjustment from her first. She looks narrower to me. She's going to be close oh. high again. Oh. Stiff. Good day. Mm, Back stayed ball. on. Stayed yeah, on. Correct. Great ball. Begin this one, Jimmy. I agree, mate. They can hold on to this number. It's game on regardless, based on the score, but if they can get it, a three, a half a sniff. Looking to cover those three bowls of Kelly and Ellie.
Very close. Oh, oh it just misses underneath. I'm trying to be quiet in what I'm saying because. Uh, Just missed that last pole. Levy looking to do, she can draw high and sort of just get to the spot where she can flop in and count. This is a very big bowl. Oh! Oh! Great hit. Yeah, what a hit. Alley. Well done. Great hit. So you needed that. You did. So it's a dead end. We'll replay oh! the 16th oh! end. Great hit. Yeah. See on the replay. He got it. Kick the jack clean out of bones. We actually changed hands over then too. He played back in with the first one and then decided to go a lot firmer and straight at the line basically. Don't miss many in a row, someone of Halley's calibre. That's what I've noticed about him today. Like I said he might have missed the first one every time he's attacked and then he's always gone and got it with the next one just about. That's it's the good draw bowling by Bruce and Lee that's causing him to have to play a few of those shots. Yeah, great. Just like that one. <laughs> oh, Bruce. It's played almost the perfect Leeds game. It's just on the edge. I won't go astray there. Lee looking to join the party that Bruce has started down now. <coughs> Bruce logs it. He's going to want to get some finish. Yep, yep gets in the count.
Kelly's not far away here. Ripper. Good bowl. Still got the shot, I think. Yeah, Lee. Good ball again. Great home. Now she's leading. Uh, lead. Drawing well. Bruce be coming down there on his forehand, looking to get probably just underneath that purple bowl of Lee's. Get another one in the head, try and change the shot up. Draw to the T and be up in the roll. Ali's bowl. Happy days. Yep. Good call. The Bendigo team's got everything sort of just just behind Jack Eye. Yeah, so they don't even mind doing the. I'm not sure they're going to play it yet, but they're they're definitely not. They're just going to keep building them there. And yeah, they've loaded up pretty well at the back. Which is why... Which is why that um, Ali and Kelly aren't attacking. They're just trying to rather just turn Ali's in for sure. And if they miss, they get to a good home Correct. where they might protect themselves a little more. There's no point attacking now because it could, could hurt them and Jack moves. If I was Liam Bruce, I'd be looking to get another one where it's potentially going to go with the first. The head's not so bad. And then, maybe play the shot themselves. Just 
select a couple yards of pace there. Do you think Ali looks at she'll try and turn that ball over once? Jimmy? Yep. That's exactly what he was trying to do. And if he misses, he gets to that half-decent home. Caddy's half-interested. He's just got to hang a bit more. No, nah, he's, he's, he's got to get down, sorry. My apologies. Down. But he's got to that good home. Mm -hmm. Stops any... Well, I mean, they could still drop a number, a couple, but... Yeah, so as you can see, that jack has come back a foot. It's good for Bruce and Lee, but if it goes any further, it goes towards Kelly's bowl. Might be a very bitter pill to swallow for Ali here, but one down probably isn't horrible. Still two up with two to play. Because he, if he if he gets the cow's pink and goes through the blue into the jack, then that could be a couple down. I reckon he just wants to lift it once. That's it's all he wants to do. It's a bit of pill to swallow, but... Another one, five in a row. They edge their way closer. 14 11. Three to play or two to play? Two to play. Two to play. Great lead ball by Bruce. He's led exceptionally well this game. Setting us up for a fitting finish of this game, yeah, Jimmy. I know, mate. Bendigo team has just kept clawing and clawing and clawing. Well, what were they? They were 14-6 down. down. Bruce. Bruce. Valerie will try and get some scores from that other green. We have a super tight one, this one here, though. Three in it, two to go. The 
team chase and have won the last five earns. Graham Hunt, Bruce, the leading machine. I agree. He's yeah. been phenomenal. Oh, can they sit this pink inside? Oh, probably didn't want to do that. Gives Ellie a chance now to come down, draw to that bowl, turn the jackets ever so slightly. Effort by Lee. <laughs> Ellie's close to eat. <laughs> oh, good effort. needed to turn ever so slowly. Metro West is 22-14 up on West Coast after 16 ends. Gippsland is 16-15 up after 14. Central Victoria is 15-14 up over Ummins and Murray after 16. And Wimmer has hit the front against Geelong, 14-13 after 16. Don't all game. Bruce, what's he done here? <laughs> Bruce defending his shot there, so <laughs> it's okay, it's in the open. A new game now. You haven't seen a jack offline properly. <laughs> Need a move. It's sort of, what, five or six inches in from the peg. Kelly's played a fantastic yeah, bowl here. Bump. Yeah, good. Well done, Kel. Bruce has been the drawing machine this game. You should see how he goes. He's close, Josh. I think he's close. He's very close. Hold an absolute horn. The drawing machine. Bruce. The drawing machine. Bruce, you freak. Just 
tycker det. Kaos Closey. Yeah, oh, good. Another great bowl. It's been a great end. Four in a row. <laughs> Lee played the game in good spirit. She should have put her hands up and said, hey, what a good bowl. Mm. Holding a couple now, maybe even three. Mm. We will require a good draw shot from Lee here. Herself has been playing fantastic draw shots this match. Good shots all round. See what Lee can bring. See a lot of swing, yeah. No, I'm gonna get it too hard. Chance for Ali now to turn the screw. Yep, he's gonna play his backhand. The last thing he would want to do on his forehand is having to be just a little quick and then turn the jack out of bounds when they've got a good number. Play his backhand, draw around Kelly, shorter bowl, that's counting and give him the count. Close. It's going to count. And changes the head up. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good call by Bruce. You just want to get second shot here. Don't think of the overall. Give yourself a chance going in the last end. If you don't, you're it's currently four down. It's a critical draw. bowl. It's yeah, a very critical, critical bowl. Game. She's put her head straight down. She doesn't like it. I'm not sure why she didn't like it. It's not that bad. Only go gunko. Depends what it is. If it's already three, he'll just draw. Look how many it is. No, what I reckon they're working out. Ali had five fingers out, so I reckon he was saying. If I said it, it's five. Yep. Which means they'll be eight up playing the last end, which is basically shake hands. Um, so I can't tell how many they got at this stage. The fact that he's looking at it might mean that last bowl of Lee's might have got to second or third shot. The way I look at it, Jimmy, just look at the way the head's situated. If he looks to play the bowl out on his backhand, if he happens to be wide, he turns his own over, probably in for a second shot, if at yeah. all, another counter. And if he happens to be wider again, and gets onto Kelly's bowl, it's close enough that's probably going to go with the jack, and they yeah. can make two or three that way as well, so too. That's the better way. I just think Kelly mouth to Ali. I think we've got three. So, to me, if it's three, then it's probably just a draw shot. I think that's what he's doing. Adds another, and they'll be seven up playing the last end. Yeah. And he's not far away. That's dropping in very late. Let's see, it just enters our screen. Mm. Ali reckons three. Just signalled to us. It's a 
good pick up. State of this game. On. Stick the measure on. There's two. Three. 17 11, last then to Ali and Kelly, Great. lead by six. Big pick up there by Sandbelt. On the play. Cloak. I mean, the Bendigo guys had won five in a row, all singles. I think this is, if I look back at the scorecard for the game, one, two, three, four, five. Of the 17 ends, the Bendigo can pass be pair have won 10 of them, yep. but they've only scored one multiple. Mm. And it might go back to that comment. T-Bone said earlier, mm. is the, the the attacking game is why they're in front. And like Bruce and Lee are playing fantastic. Their drawing has been phenomenal. It's just been the, the, the times where Ali's probably been able to convert has probably been the difference in this game. Mm. And Kelly in that instance, because Bruce had bowled an absolute bomb yep. and she played a, a, an equal. Well, she played a good one before and then played an equal. We probably sound like the game is over. It's not. We still do have one end. Anything is possible in this sport. You ever dropped the ball from here before? I'd like to say no, but I, I, I can't, and that's because I can't think of anything at this stage, but I'm sure there's probably someone sitting there going, yeah, Josh, you dropped a six <laughs> or seven last you? end and won, you know, lost the game here, you know. I remember it far down the road at Country Week a few years ago when I was only new back Great bowl by to Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, again. We were five up going in the last end and dropped to six. I feel like I've dropped a five last mm. end to, to lose a game. It's not a nice feeling. I'm sure, it's a, it's a, an equally elating feeling for the side that picked that number up. I've definitely got... I Yeah. Good correction you by Kelly. It's what they needed. Correct. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you do have this lead, you just don't want to spray bowls. You just want to couple around the jack and... Hopefully the luck goes your way. I don't think he could have done any more this game, bros. He's let it. He's he's led fantastic. If I'd give the nod to the two leads, I'd give it to Bruce. Close. Yeah, well done, Alo. Very good home. Just starting to they lifted the last two or three ends to try and combat Lee and Bruce. Enjoyed this game, though, Josh. It's been I good. It's been a great game. Two contrasting styles of play. Correct. I wouldn't even say that they've been aggressive, Ali and Kelly, but they've looked to be aggressive when they could. They've taken the opportunities to, to play them bowls. I just think they've been a bit, like, a little bit more positive. You know, if they were ever in trouble, Ali would attack mm. and try and get them out of trouble. He's put his bow in a very good home there. Only, only just put it in a good home. It nearly, nearly <laughs> tumbled over. <laughs> nearly tipped over the edge. I'm going to back Bruce to kick that in the ditch the way he's standing right next to it as well. Umpire. Mm -mm. Alley. Hover his cloth over the spot where he wants Kelly to put a bolt. That would split the four bowls up. Mm -hmm. For those at home watching and you want to track what's going on, I know we keep trying to provide as many scores as we can throughout the game, but if you're ever looking for you know, results, schedule, fixture, 
check out the Bowls Victoria f- website. Go to our events tab. Pl- click on the state championship week and everything is there you can find for this week. Bowl there by Kelly. Bruce. Just got to clear that it. one. Oh. Can definitely see why they're region champions, Bruce and Lee. Oh, they've been fantastic. Boswell Kill. I can't see how they make a six here. It's nearly the time when you probably start to attack and try and kill an end. Uh, Kelly's standing we can't can't see her in the frame at the moment she's standing in a spot where there's probably four bowls of Bendigo mm. um, Ellie splits them that's definitely just got to pass those blues and he's in a good home Lee's got to make something happen here. Oh. It's a bloody good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> draws another there. What did he call her on then? I think she's just got to come Free back shot. out. I just, to me, you're just running at the jack and trying to hope you slice it and kill. I don't think that. I don't think. No. It's uh, the game's probably been conceded there in that shot. They've played fantastically in Bruce. Well done. Played in good Sorry spirits. Enjoyed that game. A very good game. That's two to Ali and Kelly, so I'll win that one 19 11. Nice ripple of applause from around the green. It was enjoyable to commentate on. I thought all four played real well. Um, yeah, that'll move Ali and Kelly through to the next round. We'll go and get a, a very quick short break. 10 15 minute break before we jump back on for the men's final, which will kick off in at 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, Nathan Murray, Steve Sullivan coming up. So make sure you tuned in to our Facebook page that'll go live in next sort of 20 minutes um, thanks for joining us and we'll catch you all later see you all soon